gravitational signature of the Earth system. But over the millennia, the moon has shifted in its orbit, weakening the monolith's power. Barrett's TK amplifier will fix that. now restored but true power is not meant to be shared
This Saturday, Tsunami's cracking down on an all-new Satch Bell at 8. Brago and Sherry look to make some new allies, and a friend in need is a friend indeed. Then, on an all-new Naruto at 9, the students are told to cheat without being caught. Oh, and if they get this question wrong, they're banned for life. Nobody said a ninja's life is easy. Catch these and other fine programs on Toonami this Saturday from 7 to 11. Only on Cartoon Network. You guys, I've had it up to here with society. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Look, look, it's time. We've waited so long. Can I make it bigger? No. Ha 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 He's here, Joke Junkler. He's got amazing teeth. Like they're kind of fucked up, but they're they're not like overtly fucked up. It really makes you think, doesn't it? About society. I can't wait. I can't wait for this. I'm unironically excited to jonk because the, the writing in Suicide Squad was so good. Uh, I really hope it persists. Like, oh, geez. There's there's a, a non-zero probability that, like, the creative team on the, on the DLC or the follow-up chapters is just different. Or they didn't give a fuck. Or they're just going to recycle everything. Uh, Def Moon acknowledges that we live in a society. Thank you for the sub. Zach LaFlair... Thank you very much for the sub and bacon cake. Let's get this hee hee ha ha bread. <laughs> Let's get this giggle bread. It's not launching an install script though, it stopped. Wait, it did a twirl. It twirled for a minute. Is this the joke? Am I getting jonked? Oh, was there a card redeem? There was a, tr a card redeem. Frosty as me has redeemed a card. Okay, that works. Let's just let that go for now. Maybe it'll do something. In the meantime. Oh, it did something! It's it's a, it's running easy anti cheat now. Alright, I think it's going. It's going! Alright, let's draw a card here. Let's draw a card for Frosty is me. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, a Pocahontas card. It's optimizing shaders, so we're not missing much here. Pocahontas, strange clouds. Number 12. As Pocahontas listens, the wind tells her something's coming. Something's coming. 
Curious, she climbs to Grandmother Willow's tallest branches and sees strange clouds. In the reality, in the rea in reality, the clouds are the sails of the Susan Constant coming to shore. Pocahontas runs to the shore and climbs another tree to get a better look at the giant boat and the pale, hairy-faced men on board. From the Skybox Collection, Pocahontas, coming soon to a theater near you. Congratulations! Shaders optimized. Everything worked out perfectly. Because Suicide Squad has got my back. Great. Can't wait to sign into WB Services. It's my favorite part of any video game. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the uh, Troy Baker. You don't get more unreliable narrator than me. <laughs> it's my thing. And the collateral damage. <laughs> oh, but don't worry about that. Ah, I it's giggling. Fading like it was yesterday. Heroes and villains working together. Imagine me being one of humanity's last defenders. <laughs> what a gas. Oh, that's right. You uh, don't have a sense of humor. If only the others had listened! I have big plans for us going out with a bang! But you know what they say about good intentions. You can't kill them all! <laughs> the audio's off, but whatever. Oh, 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 that's when we first met! Oh, we could have been pals, shared torture tips, but you, you ruined my Earth! My modus operandi! I hate being upstaged. I like it. So if you thought you could keep this very active pathological imagination in a jar, think again. Then I discovered you'd been giving my Earth a makeover. What's a place like this doing in a guy like me? Well, I'll pick your brain about it sometime. Ice pick. <laughs> good one. Good. That's a good junk. It's kind of like Joker, but in Devil May Cry. Like he's he's young and edgy and naked. I like it. I like it. Devil May Jonkler. Welcome to the season of Joker. <laughs> Episode one, fear. Each season introduces a new playable character in Elseworld with exclusive gear, missions, and more across two episodes. I wonder I wonder how many cutscenes we're going to be looking at. Fear rank. Uh, marks your progress through this episode and determines your combat effectiveness. Completing missions increases your fear rank, unlocks rank rewards in the Nexus, empowers you to take on more challenging enemies. But <laughs> Brainiac has been watching and planning, ready to counter you with your most effective strategies with his meta changes. They wrote, like, they wrote patching the meta into the story. That's pretty sick. I mean, it's it's dumb, but I like it. Be wary of his force's improved resilience, but take advantage of new vulnerabilities that Hack has identified in the Nexus. Are you submitting to this game? I don't know, because I don't find a lot of sport in shitting on games for no reason. Uh, I think it's, I think it's good. I always like this game. Intergang weapon manufacturer. Oh, just a new low ammo, high rate of fire weapons. Best used up close. Grenade stick. All right. Poison. That was in the game before. Oh, new poison. Deal less damage, take damage over time for 30 seconds, but drop less shield. Ha. Huh. Yeah, it seems like... The game's trying to be more, or trying to be moved towards being more explicit about recovering resources or doing damage. Like, it's modes you can shift up and down into. Yeah. 
You are you unironically playing this? Yes, I unironically like Suicide Squad. I uh, maybe like a little bit ironic, but Suicide Squad is also campy on purpose, so I think it invites being liked ironically a little bit. Oh yeah, Elseworlds are just like little little instances you can run around in. Good God. How many notifications are there? Rekill Brainiac and recruit the Jonkler. Argus has located the second Brainiac iteration and discovered an alternative version of the Joker, still alive and captive. Rank up, complete the mayhem, and complete the mayhem and recruit the Joker. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I googled this uh, shortly. So you, if you complete episode one, you unlock the Joker, or you can buy the Joker and start playing as the Joker. So here's the problem. I what the hell? I'm in completing story and please play. Oh, ah, ah! It's like a separate. Oh, it's like a whole thing. Ah. I am really curious how they're, like, for games that try this stuff, games of service, it's like they have to build the infrastructure of the game to support ongoing iterations and things like that. So I'm always curious how games do it. A lot of giggles around. Giggling. Task Force X. Your priorities are being updated. God, I'm gonna have to remember how to play this game. Access is your hub for episodic content. Access it via the pause menu. You no doubt remember there are 13 brainiacs across the lattice work of dimensions. Yes, they're reminding me of the story. Kill them all, get cool shit, don't go back to Arkham. We have to find them first. To do that, Hack is pulling computational power from everything with a CPU for a hundred miles. Each pathway leads to a different reality, all ravaged by Brainiac. Elsewheres, elsewhens. Elseworlds, you could say. Ooh, catchy. You ought to do something about this heap of care packages. Oh yeah, I haven't been there in a long time, huh? It's not just the Arkham universe. That theoretically means Batman could come back too. Well, sure. I mean, yeah, they've they've opened up the dimensional bullshit. So yeah, fifteen Batmans could all run in and high five each other and then start kissing. the pet store window. Who wouldn't want to see fifteen Batmans all making out? You know they'd be good at it. They'd be real good at kissing each other. Combat smooching, grunting a lot, kissing. That would be sick, actually. <laughs> Batman Beyond would be cool. What if they did Batman Beyond? The dude who voiced Batman Beyond is still an active actor. It's kind of weird. Like, I guess there was some there was some story a while ago about them pitching a reboot to Warner, and Warner was like, nah. Uh, I don't know who them was in this case. Somebody. Uh, okay, let me hold... Uh. God, this is, it's going to take me a minute to accelerate back up to what this game's go, got going on. You know what? I also think part of the reception of this game was just that there, it's a, this game is noisy. It is almost too much video game. Uh, there's meters fucking everywhere and a bunch of mechanics, not all of which are, are really necessary. Luckless Zonzo, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, appreciate that. Yeah, I've, oh man, I've been really enjoying... Ugh, fuck me. Also, just looking at the screen... It's like, it's like the opposite of what everyone wants right now. The most Ubisoft thing. There's even little score blips above different nodes and there's pulsing icons and different colors and chevrons and... Woo! woo -wee. Yeah, overstimulation. Just getting old, man. Didn't take my, my gamer pills this morning. Fish oil. That's what my gamer pills are. So yeah, as I recall, you have to like, you do this to get points and then you... No, don't look at that. Let's look at the Nexus. Let's not worry about that right now. Episode 1 Fear. I've killed one of the Brainiacs. We know that. Finite Crisis has been brainiac Very good. Dimension Located. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Episode rewards. Oh, we got... We got a pass, huh? I mean, I didn't have to buy it. But how do I... Okay. The intro. Next. Your play video. How is play video different than view episode intro? Okay, there's that. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the table. That's what X is. Oh, oh, it's this. All right. I like that. Okay, I get to hear the giggle at the end. That's good. <sighs> mm -hmm. Brainiac meta challenges Elseworld mutator. Oh, click the stick. There we go. Hmm. Nope. Mm hmm. Well, I'm sure it'll make sense eventually. Didn't you get the ultimate edition to play earlier? Did I? Maybe I did. Was there? I don't think there was. Was there early access? I think there was early access. Yeah. All right. Here, here's. I'm just gonna ease into it. Let's, let's just ease into it. Just a little traversal. Remember how to do that. Ooh, Sleepy Gar- Sleepy Garrett, excuse me. Thank you very much for the sub. Eat your heart out, bats. <laughs> easing into it. Just easing in. One of those grappling onto thin air animations? No, it's the drone, actually. There's a little drone that always is flying in front of her that she grapples onto. Coming out swinging. And you can just kind of hang from it too. But I wanna swing again. So they did it. They did it. They figured it out. They don't have to do Spider-Man like attached to nothing swinging. Oh yeah, that, yeah, you do that. And then you do this. That's right. Okay. Focusing on the shark thing. Watch me, not the wire. Pretty smart of them to like re enable tutorials. As the jonk showed up, uh, there was an intro animation setting up the jonk and kind of explaining how he ended up in this reality. Oh, that's right. I have my clan. I thought it was going to, like, unmake it after three days because I didn't have enough people. But what? Oh, shoot. I equipped all that, didn't I? Well, whatever. I'll look at it in a second. Look at all this stuff! Boink, boink, boink. That's it. No excuse for slack. I've done it. Huh. <sighs> God, look at all of this. Oh yeah, there's grenades. Right about grenades. Neil else already has that? I think I swapped this? I don't know what I did. I definitely just changed this. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about the stat layer of the game for a minute. Yeah, there were there was like even in-game side stuff I didn't finish. Penguin's got a thingy on him though, so might as well go talk to him. I like Arkham Penguin actually. Running with guns. You need a good gun runner. Let's talk shop. Oh, it's just new crafting. I guess everything has a ping on it. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Don't want that yet. 
Who needs cologne when you got the smell of gun oil and corn on, eh? <sighs> okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Maybe I just do a thing. Hmm? Just pick a thing and do it and see what happens. Okay, now it's marked as episode one. Gear. Unknown threat level. Lots of resources. Awesome gear. 50 BP. We need Ivy collecting data on this Earth's toxins. Be especially careful here. We don't know what to expect other than the worst. Oh yeah, the two new weapon stratagems? It's like a heavy machine gun? And it's got cool plants. I mean, poke at the options real quick. Because I remember, yeah, this game had... Yeah, yeah. This game had some, uh... Like, it actually had some, uh, some heavy stuff going on. Wow, ray tracing's off? I'm gonna do it. Ray tracing on, because this game is actually really pretty. Restarting the game. <laughs> it's an expensive feature. I deserve it. You know what's weird? People didn't needle this game about performance, even though it performs worse than Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> they could have made that stick harder, but I don't think anyone played it enough to even give a shit about the game's performance. That's specifically with ray tracing, though, so it's hard to, uh... It's hard to really hold the game accountable for that. You can just turn it off. Where the... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to quit the game gracefully. I can just, like... Alt F4 it, but... There's a way to... Is it on the map? Squad tab, I think? Yes! This game has other things gamers hate more. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, it's... It's it's just... Like, it's weird, though. It doesn't, though. <laughs> it doesn't have the things that people are mad at. It's it's just the, the, the form of something that people are mad at. It doesn't actually... Didn't actually have DLC. Or, uh, microtransactions. They weren't in the game yet. I guess they're in there now, because you can buy the John Clair. Is that the only thing you can buy, though? Oh, well, no, I guess it had skins and things. It had skins. Yeah. It had skins. But, eh, it's a co-op, like, PvE game. Hmm. You'd think, you'd think skins would be... Would fly. Pun partially intended. Push the button on your PC? You mean the, uh, the turbo one? Uh, I usually only watch the VODs. When's the next Metal Gear? Or which is the next Metal Gear? It's Metal Gear Solid. That's the next game in the Kojima-thon, but... Still a lot of police knots to play. I wanted to hate it? Oh yeah, I mean, that was clear. A lot of people really wanted to hate it. And they did. They did. They wanted to, so they did. Uh, I guess I guess what uh, what I find fascinating to put language to and to, to some extent try to do so without judgment even though that's challenging for me but to put language to the the political dynamics and honestly the real word is kind of the bullying dynamics that go into the games that the gamers don't like you can you can see it but it requires sort of talking about the mass movement of crowds as, as like following some kind of uniform emotion. Been in the action. The Jonkler is finally here. Finally, finally here. <sighs> to some degree, I, I, uh, yeah. I guess I can't be entirely uh, naive about the um, the intent. And I, to some degree, even agree with it. There's nothing wrong with making your opinion known. And there's nothing wrong with wanting clean, honest gaming experiences. Uh. I watched your playthrough. How do you feel about the coverage of this game now that the dust has somewhat settled? I mean, same way I feel about Dragon's Dogma. There's just like... There's a there's a trend in in game games discourse that I think is is sad to see. It's cannibalistic. Take it out and get out fast. 
No curiosity, no craving for data, no reports. Truly nothing. I'll clear your... Okay. Oh my god, it scales up so high! Mastery 10, get out of here. Uh, doing hard to... I might... Oh, wait. Oh, you have to... Eh? Tokaket. Thanks for the sub. I don't remember how this works. You, let's see here. Yeah, you have to like buy your way into an instance. It's a good thing I have a, a lot of this uh, Lexium or whatever the heck. So I might actually kind of screw myself here because I don't remember what the heck I'm doing, but whatever. Who cares? Let's figure it out. We make it back to this earth. Drinks are on me. Let's hit it, squad. Yeah, Captain, I actually agree. I mean, when the, when the cutscenes ran dry, so did my interest in the game. I appreciate the mechanical intensity of it. To some degree, I think it might be a little over-engineered. Going to alternative jonkler dimensions. <laughs> but uh, that's awesome. Big presence and shit. So far from home, with just a Promethean security blanket for safety. Let's see here. Gamer pushback on microtransactions and games services equally met by developers trying to force it onto gamers. Force it. There's no forcing involved, though. They're releasing a product into the market and asking people to buy it or not. And if people buy it, that's not forcing anyone to do anything. Um, sure, there are games that, like, try to kind of cajole you and, and shuck and jive a little bit. And try to coax the money from your wallet. And that's, like, they're, that's legal um, to some extent. Actually, there's a really interesting lawsuit in Arkansas, of all places right now, that'll never go to trial, likely, but hold on a minute. Uh, and I'm all about this. Hold on, let me see if I can find this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really interesting, because it's finally coming to, like, legal arguments about, about, like, dark patterns and player manipulation. This, this is it, right here. This is, this is sort of where, where these things can functionally change, uh, if they ever do. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's there's like a lawsuit. Uh, here, I'll I'll post this in chat because I think it's really cool. Force maybe by control of the market. Well, that implies a monopoly, um, which none no game developer has. If unless specifically it's like a monopoly of Spider-Man, which yeah, but I guess we're kind of lucky because Sony makes the kinds of Spider-Man games that people like. But it's like. It, the argument falls apart. There, there's no collective action needed because there's so much competition and there's so many games that do the right thing. So that's that's when the like the morality of it falls apart for me. The, pro the protests aren't necessary because all you have to do is look over there to find the thing. And also a lot of the protests don't even reflect what's in the game. You have to kind of make up a narrative to be mad at a game. Because it's it's close to the thing that is scary. Because it's more fun to be mad. <laughs> That's kind of where it goes. Alright, I gotta figure out. I gotta remember how to play this shit. You're not supposed to, like... That's right, melee. When I shoot, I shoot. And then there's like a counter that's the bumper. Firing sequence task force X. Have I introduced you to my deadly security walls? What the? Resistor in sights. We need those terminal bits if we're gonna take out that gun. 
It's gonna take me a minute. Remember how to get health. There's a way to do it. Oh, yeah, they turn like. You do that. You can do something. You can do something when they're blue. Left bumper. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> they shoot their feet, I think? Secured. Now deal with Task Force X. Very slowly remembering. Normalize. It, it, I mean, it comes. They're gonna try to make money. Are they not allowed to do that? You you can't like hold them accountable for what the market wants to spend money on. You can't like. I don't. I just don't understand the shame in putting putting something for sale. Like just just making it available to buy. Suddenly that's crossed the line. Seems a bit odd to me. It it almost feels like the core of the argument is like I can't control myself. I I understand that like getting getting asked is annoying, especially if you're just trying to play a game. If you're trying to play a game and it's always like buy this thing, buy this thing, buy this thing. Yeah, that sucks. That's not what's happening though. Not a lot. Anyway. Games that do that typically have audiences that also don't care, and they're fine with being messaged that much, or their children, or whatever. Well, that's another story, I guess. So I don't know. It's like you can't hold a company accountable for what the market wants to spend money on. You wouldn't harm a poor, defenseless, extra-dimensional weapon, would you? I mean, you can, I guess. It's, it's happening now. I can't remember how to ground pound. You missed an obvious vulnerability in your target, Task Force X. Oh, right. I was supposed to do that before. Disregard for biomechanical expertise. Ah. This wouldn't happen with pure collusion. Say that before. But I work with what I've taken. You got a jonkler drop? Nice. Nice. I don't have any. The 
didn't expect that. Working on it. Okay. I think it's coming back. A little bit. Oh, that's right. You get all the like buffs and stuff when you're doing well too. Uh, I, I kind of get it. I mean, I, I understand what it's like to be sad that, like, a game format or style or genre that you like is losing favor or losing profitability or losing cultural focus. But it's, it's just in the mix of everything. What it feels like. Why is there just, it's like a giant aura around me? Hang it. They always catch me on a reload. Well, you've revealed a weakness. This is your fleeting moment. See how you've made it suffer. See the speed force suffer. decoupler? I don't remember what a speed force decoupler is. I'm gonna be real. Who's gonna have to help me with that one? Artillery, hit the deck! I'm chopping this one! Sound off like you got a pair! Woo! Yes, sir! Oh, I wish I could remember how to freaking do the ground pound! Let's see here. Fargo Lefty, thank you for the super chat. Remember people criticizing Rage 2 for being too busy? And Doom Eternal was praised for the exact same thing. This game is real busy, though. It very much is. Yeah, I'm, I'm still overwhelmed. Um, I'm still trying to figure things out. There is no I think that was that was another reason I gave it a lot of... I gave and continue to give it a lot of uh, credence, because for me, it's, it's interesting how a lot of people see this as a game that's following trends, but if anything, it's actually a deeply anti-trend kind of game. It's very, very busy. You prove it's very work. mechanically gamer and shit. Use this uh, and that's not like... That's usually not what uh, games like this would try to do. And if it's like trying to be a mass market games of service game, that's the last thing it should have done. Um, but nobody really cared about those virtues. Or would even consider them virtues, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I was pretty pleased that it actually tried to maintain its mechanical complexity from, you know, the other Arkham games. I didn't think it, it would be possible. And, I don't know, I think there's definitely differing, differing opinions about how successful they were, I suppose. Dragon Dogma 2 has some similar issues as this. Gameplay evolution is an issue in that game also, especially when compared to Dogma 1. Play Assassin and have access to... This firing sequence mm. is reminiscent of a Kaluan game you wouldn't understand. I don't think I have the, the requisite experience with Dragon's Dogma 2 to, to fully... Fully parse. Yeah. Uh, they did make some interesting changes to Dogma 2. It's all in the wrist. Cannons. <laughs> Fear my shadow. Uh, <sighs> pulling my weight. Get 
those chunks. Need more chunks. Wait, my Prometheum shield. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Shit. Forgot about that. Ow. Ow. How many? I have ten. Damn. Time is of the essence. The Prometheum shield is losing cohesion. Prometheum shield is losing cohesion. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, where does it show how many? I oh, it's in the upper right. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Damn it. Well, I have plenty of goodies. Plenty of bits. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, that's right. It's like the teleporty guy. Hey, Stowaway. Can somebody take those bombs away from the beam. Take My Come on, drone. Crimes away, Up there. Ah! Why is it to do that stupid knockback? Terminal chunks with me. I swear to God, like object lesson units. Don't let the shark close the distance. I already. What? Ah. Uh, okay. I don't remember how to kill these stupid guys. to so badly right now. We're real popular with the baddies. Let me go. What was that timer at? That had to be real close. She shall me almighty. Oh. What's the narrative right now? What's going on? Um, there's like multi-dimensional brainiacs that keep invading. And you have to kill all the brainiacs, I guess. I'm working towards a jonkler. I feel like a kid who robbed a candy store. Wow, this baby's gonna have my name all over it. In non-sphere mascara. Cool. Ah, oh, that was stressful. Holy cow. Ah, oh, yeah. So what did that do? I've progressed. Tr yes. I've progressed, I think. Okay. It be worse. Not sure how, but I bet it could. I huh? Oh, you hold it. No doubt, remember, there are 13 Brainiacs 
across the lattice work of dimensions? Mm-hmm. Kill them all, get cool shit, don't go back to Arkham. We have to find them first. To do that, Hack is pulling computational power from everything with a CPU for a hundred miles. Each pathway leads to a different reality, all ravaged by Brainiac. Elsewheres, elsewhens. Elseworlds, you could say. Ooh, catchy. That is catchy. So... So what is the goal? How do... Mayhem mastery level. Yes, that's, I think, the thing that needs to go up. View episode gear. Is it the thing along the top? Because that has, like, a million pips. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Is it just stuff? Uh, how do you how do you beat the Brainiac? Where do you find him? Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Rescue the Joker. A 12th level threat. There's a 40 on it. Does the 40 coincide with that number in the upper left? The like... The... Season rank, I guess? Finding and taking down another incredibly dangerous Brainiac body double. There's the Jonkler. There he is. You are dangerously below the recommended episode rank. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so it's like battle pass leveling, except that's what progresses you through the thing. Okay, so I, and that's right. That's kind of like what they use to the power scale. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, because also, see, this is the other thing. You can just buy the Joker. There he is. So, with, ten th with a thousand Lex coins, Look at all, look at all his outfits. He's the Joker, baby. You have to earn Jonkler or yeah, you just buy him. Um, which I'm thinking about doing, to be honest. Which should be the, should be the, the most terrible sin. But the thing is, I want to, uh, I want to play as the Jonkler. And by the time I finish the DLC, I probably won't want to play much more. So I want to spend my time as, as Jonklin. One premium battle pass? There's a premium battle pass? Where is that? Okay, so yeah, a thousand plus a hundred extra Lex coins is ten bucks. So, and also, I have to admit, uh, I'm gonna draw the curtains here. <laughs> Hide my shame. Uh, people in chat already in donated money towards the Jonkler cause. So... There were, there were subs and cheers specifically earmarked for Jonklin back in the day. So this is it, folks. This is what it's like when when principles are betrayed. This is when DLC is purchased. I'm being yeah, I'm being forced. Ah! They they made a character that I want to play and they won't give it to me for free, so they're forcing me to buy it. Eh. Ah. Sometimes, I mean, I, I specifically made it sound like a baby at the end there, but um, sometimes, yeah, it, it does kind of sound like people are more telling on themselves and their inability to say no to their favorite video game characters. All right, Jonkler coins deposited. Oh, oh, here's the battle pass. Look at how glowing and cool it is. Premium battle pass. Wait, what? Boy, do I love the work you did there. <laughs> Sarcastic. Oh, mmm, the taste of failure. I enjoy... <laughs> what the heck? Oh, 
Next battle pass in 97 days. Complete missions contracts to increase your battle pass rank. So your battle pass rank is separate from the episode rank. Exclusive items are only available on the battle pass. Okay. So what does premium mean? Because there's only one battle pass and I'm getting progress towards it. What the fuck? Okay. If I hit X, it just takes me to the purchase the battle pass page. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. But I will purchase the jonkler. There's a lock on each of those things. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Ah, so you've unlocked it, but it won't let you have it until you buy the battle pass. It's so weird, man. The, uh, I get the, the notion of wanting to unlock things and especially the, there's a bit, it's a bit deceptive to be like, you've already won it. You just have to buy it now. Um, but also, isn't it silly to pay for things that you then have to like grind to get? Shouldn't paying mean that you just get it? Again, I, I understand the, the appeal of having, like, meters go up. But it's a bit baffling. Anyway. Alright, John Clare acquired. Joker, Joker interview one. Mandy, Mandy, yes. surprise. I thought I'd never see you like this again. Like what, Joker? You're with your inside, still on the inside. You know how hard it is to get stomach bile out of a sport coat? <laughs> oh, which reminds me, does this joint do dry cleaning, or...? Cut the shit, I've heard it all before. You meet one psychotic bottom-feeding thug in face paint, you've met them all. And did you know the old me? We were never introduced. Suppose that's what my fashionable tardiness gets me. Here, from the coroner's report. Go on, take a good look. The BP for this game doesn't go away, and you can make your money back with it? Oh, there's like, currency on the battle pass? Oh yeah. He got what was coming to him. Good lord. He's... He was so... Old! That's your takeaway? Old! You do have sunscreen on this earth, right? Those crow's beats aren't giving me hope. You don't play ball. We've got an entire wing at my new Arkham, specially made for pacifying clowns like you. <laughs> Sounds like it worked great on the last guy. Oh, I can't wait for this world to get a load of its new Joker. So many smiling faces to meet. And all thanks to you, Mandy. Don't think you can scare me, clown. One button press and I do what Batman never could. Solve this Earth's Joker problem for good. That's a promise. Cool. So Jonkler's gonna be level one though, right? Uh... Uh... This... So how do I jonk? Where's the jonk? There he is. Oh, level 10. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Customize. It'd be an honor to tweak your brain, Miss Quinn. Do hold on. Do I have to leave the session? 
I don't exactly like the pay to grind thing, but the reality is that without the BP, they just trick the kids to pay hundreds more dollars for all the skins separately, so I don't know if the trade off is bad or not. So wait a minute, what do you mean by, do you spend BP on unlocking the battle pass? Is that how that works? Just says preview. You just hit right on the squad menu. Oh. Swap character. It's there now. So you have to you have to go in with the four characters you want to play as. Yeah, BP is battle pass XP, but you still have to buy the battle pass. I'm not I, I don't understand the like it's like you get your money back thing. There's our guy. Oh, he's so giddy. Finally. I'm wondering what his traversal is going to be like. Glad well, this game is sending a couple people back towards Gotham Knights. That game is hella slept on. Yeah, I don't understand where all these like really high uh, standards came from, to be honest. What's so wrong with just being a, being a superhero and beating the shit out of some enemies and leveling up a little bit? Suddenly everything has to be like art and, per and perfect. I don't know. I don't know. People like their comic books. I know what you're thinking, but I have no idea what all this stuff is doing here. We did it. Time to junk. You see, I can offer a world remade in your image. I would have oh. shown your genetic he glides. across the cosmos. I still might. So how does he get height? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's pretty fun. Just blows himself up. I guess you get two. Uh, hey Yondo. We are in fact... Fully jonklerized. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something sassy, and I'm gonna like take a quick little perusal of the tutorials. <laughs> yeah, uh, countering. Uh huh. Ground bounce. Wait. Upon landing. Wait. Ground bounce. Oh, okay. Huh. I didn't know those would give you the traversal buff. Melee since enemies flying. Mix next firearm critical. Shoot enemies in their joke kills. Critical reload. Ah, that'll help. Yep. Forgot about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me, I'll just do something. Let's find some embarrassing photos of Brainiac on his network. Oh, what stuff. Whatever. Can you glide forever? Oh, I have talent points to spend. Let's see if we can't make your head a happier place for the rest of us, Joker. Firearm damage can't counters have 50% chance to make the enemy's shield harvestable. That's kind of nice. Okay. Melee damage. Yeah, there's so many stats and like things to choose. I can I can see why this, you know, I get why this wouldn't resonate with folks who just want to beat the shit out of enemies and level up. Like kills, aid. You like throwing grenades.
Where do I even see how many points? Oh, I think I see. Is it the two at the top? Must be. Critical hits with assault rifles. Pistols. Shotguns. The shotgun one. Okay. What is that? What is that? Why are there lasers everywhere? Oh! So how do I look? I was going for cold, but I missed the mark. No crash, all burn! What the? Oh, okay. I guess that was my traversal. We are, in fact, Jonklin. Get up there! You not reload while you're floating? Maybe not. No fun without risk. This I guess I'm doing this. All right. Screw it. Task is to hit this bug farm hard. Wipe out Brainiac's incubators and everything else. Really? I don't know, Bianca. The the like those double jumps you get are really powerful. It shoots you up fast. But once you've used them both, you really got nothing left. Like you can't go up anymore. Oh, look, a farm. Let's wipe it out. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, smash crystals, incubator shields. Roger, dodger. What the? Ah! Turn it. That's right, you can counter the missiles. God damn it. Ugh, man. All right. Still figuring out the controls a little bit. Oh, my God. Yep, yep, yep. It puts scars on your chest. Joker, your vicious talents are wasted fighting for this world. Shit. Time for a hard spray. Don't mind if I do. Ugh. man I thought the I guess I remember the grenades being a lot straighter of a throw than that oh, I've hooked, dark, dark. boy that is doing very little damage I think I needed to do something else first Some whomping. Taking the Harley's target like acid on face. Yeah. 
units. Rid this world of its remaining Joker immediately. That's a drag. Oh shit! We better take down these boots if we want to smash those crystals. I agree, Jonkler. Very well, Joker. Attacking your target. Time to smush some alien bugs, gang. Hey, hey, very slowly getting somewhere, I guess. Oh, that's right. That stupid thing. You can't, like, use your abilities. Uh, there was an animated thing showing the Jonkler basically arriving in this dimension. Definitely not as, like, high caliber as the ones that were in the campaign. These crystals are fixing for a do-over. He's Jonklin, though. Oh. I'm doing that. Hey. Damn it. Dude! Something else shot me? Oh, I can't jump. That's right. Uh, fuck. There's so many. Can't kill them fast enough. Oh, what? Ah, forgot that. That sucks. Forgot that would happen. present on me dude freaking gun getting stuck in the hitbox there what you gonna do though what you gonna do it's enough to make you to make you think about society a little bit God damn. I'm getting a little overwhelmed still, but I'm figuring it out. Yes. Really? Really? Playing fucking ring around the rosy? Well, there's a million snipers and I do no damage. God fucking shit! Take out the farm, GFX. I can't do anything! <laughs> I need a better gun.
Despite everything, my offer of immortality holds. I wonder if you can buy something. Because the damage I'm doing is just not there. I guess I can, yeah, I can equip. Why is there a three on that? What the fuck does that mean? Because I think I've upgraded it a couple times, actually. Um. Yeah, this will make this much easier. Okay. Currently equipped. Oh, it's the type of grenade. Oh, oh. Sharing belongings. Increasing shotgun damage is good. Friendship. Okay, what else? XP, critical hit damage. Crazed enemies. Well, that's that's fine. Throwing terminots over here. Still Final Fantasy 14. I'm taking a bit of a break, uh, just because I'm waiting for a um, Dawn Trail. But uh, Dawn Trail is what I'm waiting for. Pre-ordered it the other day. everyone around the platform and then also everyone on the platform in time there's literally not enough time for it so i have to like because they keep fucking regenerating so i have to stay on this platform because they just walk over here with their millions of hp and never die all right now we're getting somewhere fuck you let's deliver the coup de gras Oh yeah, you gotta stomp on it, that's right. Okay, I'm figuring it out. It's coming back to me. I'm Jonklin here. Bypassing the shield and the armor, Task Force X. An advanced display of tools. Stopping the incubator by incubator will take considerable time. Are you f What the f- I don't remember the, the counter timing being that tight. But maybe it was. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. Unless something else hit me. In which case, I have no idea what hit me. God damn it! Fuck, those enemies are so annoying. I don't remember how to counter them either. I can't do anything! God. I am playing on hard, too, as I remember. Stasis has not dulled Joker's propensity for violence. Get Joker's target off the stage. Director Waller, time to roll out Task Force Z. I guess you just gotta really keep moving. I just, I don't know. It's, Jesus Christ. I'll pick something else. <sighs> I just feel like I can't kill anything fast enough. And I feel like I'm kind of remembering the, yeah, it's like a plus two, whatever the fuck that means. Oh, let's do a plus one. Let's find some embarrassing photos of Brainiac on his network. All stuff. Whatever. I mean, if this is like 
What? I just tagged something and I have no idea where it is. Where the, what the fuck did I just look at? Great. Mobile gear symbiotes detected. Sorry, I mean, the Oh, Harry, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm dropping frames. It's, uh, this is a frame dropping game. I have ray tracing on. Okay, there it is. Good God. Evenly matched, it I'm says. Get your hands dirty, TFX. Defend those terminals so I can do my thing. Okay, aliens. Your death wish is my command. Yeah, this one can be very challenging without enough DPS. If they just sit there and don't die. Okay, yeah, no, they're they're dying much faster. Got that terminal back from Brainiac's forces. Scanning now. Look at that. Yeah, the damage scaling is pretty intense by by episode rank. So, not to be messed with. You're just full of cheap tricks, aren't you, Joker? That's all the Get that terminal back. Terminal secure. Good for us, squad. How can I, like, s I can see it for so long, but I can't react to it. Because there's a goddamn fence in the way. These huge goobers are scrambling hat signals. Let's scramble their lives. This terminal is under our control. This is a no goober zone. Sorry, pal. Would I kill you to congratulate me? I can't connect to that terminal. Get it back. Okay. This is much nicer, huh? Although, man, does this ever make a, a case for, uh, for mouse controls? Mouse aim would be so delightful with this character, because you can just, like, basically just fly up and hover above everyone. There is another one. The way they pop like party favors. I mean, he's right. That's why we do it. Honestly, this isn't unusually hot. This one's locked down. Scanning. Oh, there's a car there. That's what that was. 
forgot about this. I guess you get this for the hack uh, missions. Oh, wait. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, there we go. Mark this one as scanned, people. We got everything we need, Task Force X. Good work. Yeah, the next character is going to be LGBTQ Batman. IA Batman. IA plus Batman is a separate character. And they fight each other. Oh my gosh. He's doing his little psycho killer dance. Oh my gosh. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. What a silly goose. Seems really weird the game is this much easier one tier of difficulty down. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's a lot. That, I, that was also like a base campaign mission or like it was a, sorry, it was a side mission from the base game. So I think it might be like, uh, there might be levels of scaling beyond, beyond just the two and the one. This gear's not good. There's no, no bueno. No, no bueno. Was my jonkler loving it? Le le leveling up at least. Raising hell tier one contracts battle pass. That's my progress report. What the flip? So those give BP. These give BP two. Oh, it shows you in the little meter up there. That's kind of interesting. Like the the progress you'll get. All right, what is this? Horde of grunts together in this Joker world. All right. I want bodies on the floor, TFX. Bag them, tag them, and we're golden. Focus fire is your number one priority. Team that kills together stays alive. <laughs> Already giggling. Already giggling a little bit. Getting a little giggle on. And it is pretty. Ah, some enemy nearby has a loot bug in its bullet. Things off the internet. Okay, three loot drops. So yeah, uh, okay. I guess these are just different because you have to pay to go in, and then also it's a it's an instance. Yeah, I was yeah very surprising. Well, I mean this will put me at rank two if I'm reading that right. This should this should reduce the scaling of all those. Play. Story missions. Maybe. Eh, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, I anticipated being a little frustrated by coming back to this game. Uh, I think I've remembered some of it. I kind of want to try mouse and keyboard, but I'm afraid to, to uh, yet again reset my knowledge of things. I should get the movement buff. job is this? Dangerous? Difficult? Reckless? <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> what a card. You better believe I'm Jonklin. Focus your attention and your fire and take them down as a unit. Holy fuck! Are you kidding me? Your energy. Units, keep your distance from Joker. His aptitude for chaos is worrisome. 
Oops. I got another Joker. Another Joker interview. Shaped wrist like you wouldn't believe. You mind loosening the old friendship bracelets, big guy? This is a mistake. I don't know what the director's thinking. Bringing a goddamn Joker into this mess. Say, what are we thinking for lunch? Sushi? You have that here? Richard, you're gonna love what I can do with chopsticks. Wink. <laughs> can it, Chuckles? You know, half the troops in the hall knew someone murked by Joker. I bet they just love to get their mitts on you. Ooh, don't threaten me with a good time, soldier boy. Joker was terrorist scum. Worst of the worst. The world's better off with him in the dirt. And if you think I won't bury you with him... I'm detecting some aggression here, Flatfoot. But if you're gonna kill me, you'd have done it already. Squad's got bigger fish to fry. And if keeping you alive means keeping them alive, I can keep it in the holster. For now. Colonel Flag! Is that affection for your squad I'm detecting? Oh, I knew there was a gooey sensor underneath all that bluster and body armor. Usually I have to work a little harder to get it, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, that's our Joker. Yeah, Windows 11 has been fine, Professor Lace. I mean, there's been some annoyances, some like things that have moved or disappeared. That's kind of common with every new version of Windows, though, so. No, I've, I've been fine with it. Yeah, I, I don't care about Copilot at all. They keep turning it back on, like every Windows update, and I keep turning it back off. Again, pretty par for the course for Microsoft, though. Every, like, major version of Windows, there's some new thing they're trying to push that I just quietly say no to. It's like one Google to find the, the place to turn it off. Oh, I did find, uh, there's like a registry edit you can do to restore the old right-click context menu, too, which is really helpful. So... Hey, Nick. Yeah, one month before the new badge. I always wonder if people notice that stuff. I need to add some new badges soon. Harley, let's take it the target to remember. I will have it. Yes, yes. Wonderful. So many fascinating metrics and data points. Oh, and you're all still alive. That's good, too. Whoops. Oh, now it's counting up? I'm not liable for damages. Oh, do stay longer, Task Force X. We've already dug your graves on this world. You like the lemon lime badge?
That's cool, but the fact that it's difficult to switch back to the old right click is kind of ridiculous. I agree. It's dumb. But I don't know. I don't feel like I'm gonna waste more. I'm not gonna feel more annoyed about it than it takes time to just revert. Courtesy of a lawless. Huh. You don't know lawless. The lawless. You are really old. Hmm. Point is, this is prohibited tech of extraterrestrial origin. Accuracy is hell, but they chew up targets and rounds. Yeah, Harry, there, there's like, you just add like a, a particular key to the Windows registry and then reboot and it's back to normal. It's pretty good. But yeah, I don't mind. I like, I think, I think Windows 11 is actually a pretty minimal OS in oh, terms of. And my horoscopes had cut back on the gimmicks. <laughs> in terms of it's like uh, doohickeys and doodads, it's not nearly as. Like, they're kind of, I don't know, they've receded from, like, the more Mac OS flourish of, like, Vista and things like that. Well, you know, simple windows, clean design. I don't mind the ribbon stuff that they do. Um, how are you enjoying Jonkler? Who did you mean before? I don't, I guess I played a lot of Boomerang before, and I like Jonkler, actually. Uh, he's a bit weird. He seems designed to just kind of float above everything and shoot down on everyone, which is the reason why snipers are just eating my lunch, because that's the natural counter to, to Jonk. But, uh, but yeah, it's been fun. His owner dead. Should I make sure? It definitely feels like, uh, John Claire is like way, way better as a, uh, as a, like for a mouse. Let's see here. It's a grenade. Hmm. Bigger radius. Zero attack though. Oh, applies venom. Venom frenzy. That's right. The new poison. Makes people do less damage, but drop less health, I think. Microsoft still hasn't given me a good reason to switch to 11. I use my taskbar on the side of the screen. Ever since I upgraded widescreen, they disabled that option. Oh, just... Be yeah, the, the, centered, the centered thing is like... It's hard, to, it's hard to argue with the ergonomics of it, because the center bottom of the screen is probably going to be closest, on average, to whatever you're doing. So it's a bit weird that they took that away, though, the ability to throw the, the taskbar to one side. What do they care? Low ammo, very high rate of fire weapons, best used up close. It's an assault rifle though, not a shotgun. Zoomed in critical hits with this weapon, put the enemy in slow motion. That's kind of cool. Already rolled up my sleeves so I can bear arms. <laughs> Scary? Tuh. You should see the dry cleaning bills for the blood. I just don't like seeing others succeed. Nothing personal. Considering your neurochemistry, I don't promise this will end well, Joker. But let's have some fun. Razzle dazzle. Counters generate 10 Razzle Dazzle Traversal Attack and 10 Suicide Strike Resource. It's a year. Damage dealt is increased by 25% on enemies that are below 50%. It's a lot! And now that I kind of... I feel like I'm a little bit better at avoiding damage. So I can get my combo higher. Ah. 100% chance you won't lose any combo when a combo breaker event triggers. This can only happen once every 30 seconds. Damn, that's awesome. You basically get like shields for your combo. Yeah, I like I like Theater Kid Joker. He's like trying too hard, but there's a little bit of that in the performance on purpose. It's not like the acting is bad. It's definitely a like younger, brashier, look at me, I'm the Joker, baby, baby, uh, Joker. I don't know. I like I like him. He's stupid. And he giggles. He giggles. He's always giggling. Uh, bathroom break. I'm gonna go jonkle in the bathroom. Be right back.
today, right here on ABC. And now, back to the show. After these messages, we'll be right back. Bunny and I were mixing up some quick when magically we were in the spaceship of the terrible Choctomatron. He's taking Nurse Chocolate. Oh. So quick will change his program. Hello, everyone. Voice of God Lawrence here. Sorry to interrupt your commercials. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be doing a notes pass for Inside Games. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. I just have to watch the episode down and check for errors, things like that. The episode is 15 minutes long. So we're looking at a 15 minute break. Uh, probably more like 20 if I have to, like, you know, stop. But anyway, uh, I am a, a man of many talents and, and juggling many things. So uh, I'll be back in a bit while I, uh, I watch down the episode. So see you soon. Uh, and thanks for watching so far. I'll be back. Cherry flavored candy with nothing to pick up. Because I ate it all! <laughs> New Twizzlers Pull and Peel. And now, back to the show. After the message. We'll be right Things aren't always what they seem. Take Hidden Treasure cereal. Every square looks the same. Sweet. Crunchy. Right? But certain ones have the taste of fierce, fruity frosty inside. Some got it. Some don't. Some blast ya. Some won't. How do you know which is which? Research. Part of this balanced breakfast. Hidden treasures. A cereal that's more than it seems. Tomorrow, guest star Emma Sams uses an evil Lois lookalike to terrorize Metropolis. Don't miss the exciting season premiere of Lois and Clark, the new adventures of Superman. The Crypt Keeper is joined by two ghoulish friends to tell an all-new creepy story on Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Coming up next... This is ABC.
process will continue in a moment. cleared all four stages of the VGA Countdown Underground. And that means it's time to turn it over to Mr. David Spade. And Pam Anderson. Shaq. Tony Hawk. And the Raiderettes shaking their firm yeah, pom-poms. Shaking the pom right you are, Ken. And we're going to find out who takes home video games' yeah. newest honor, a Spike Video Game Award. Let's take a look. Indeed. such thing as family and friends. We're each our own country with temporary allies and enemies. I'd like to make a treaty with you. Oh, and Dave. Try to stay out of trouble, okay? Blow me. Thank you. Time to get you patched up. Your path is at a moment of change. Jarek, the man who murdered your father, is a great evil. He searches for the location of a sacred place, the Valley of the Jedi. A force of thousands of Jedi is trapped here. If Jarek captures this power, he will be a creature such as the universe has never seen. A supernova of stars in a fleeting form. The eradication of life from a star system, in a whisper, will be within his power. Your father gave his life to protect this power, and now it is a place your destiny must take you. The disk you have in your possession will lead you to the ways of the Jedi. Remember, it will be your path. To the ways of the Force. Well, your blessed ship is going to be in the repair bay for the next few days. Uh, how's it look? Nothing that a crate full of money which you don't have wouldn't solve. Like always, I owe you. Can you take care of her for me? 
You're not going after Jarek, are you? No. I'm going back to my father's home in Sulan. Can you meet me there when you're finished with the crow? Of course. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'll find out when I get there. So there I was with Bunny, mixing up some quick. Don't forget to clean the basement. When Magic Man, we were in the dungeon of the evil witch creep Pella, who was stealing all the world's chocolate. We have to stop her. I'll distract her with some quick. And I'll tie her up. Chocolatey quick? <laughs> Looks like she's tongue-tied, too. Who are you talking to? Um, nobody. Nestle quick. It's magic in the making. Okay, well, Unless Traveler, since I've been on here, has changed my life in one, in one big way. Um, I have a social anxiety problem. Um, I actually take pills for it. Um, I go outside and I have panic attacks um, when I see a lot of people. Um, when I came on online travel, I had to say in the first week that I've been on here and I started socializing with people, um, it's made it easier for me to um, talk to people when I'm outside in the real world. Um, and people are just awesome on here and they're easy to talk to. I mean, outside, there's a lot of buttholes and a lot of, a lot of you know, a lot of mean people. But I learned how to um, open myself up to people in the world and uh, socialize a lot better than before. And my... Uh, I've actually caught talk to my doctor and I, he cut down on my medication evidence. Before Traveler, well, let's see, before I got on Traveler, I was a um, campaign manager for different, some different candidates in politics. I, um, like I said, and I gave uh, these parties at these hotels for people and uh, I would, you know, get them organized. I'm more, I, I'm an organizer. And I guess you would call me, well, they refer me as, a, I guess I'm a leader. I've been referred to as a leader. And um, and you're going to laugh when I tell you this, but a long time ago, when I first got on here, I was referred to as baby is a calling card. Baby is a calling card. You know what that meant? That meant put baby in a room and you're going to get a crowd. Now, why, I don't know. The biggest challenge, the biggest challenge of overcoming traveler, I guess, was when, well, I had to start out. I had to start out from somewhere, and uh, I knew that what I wanted to do uh, when I start, got involved, I, I got to, the, like I said, I've worked all the service, but my first impression was when I got to WWT, I saw the big guitar, the big entrance and all that, and then I began to get friends, and uh, right in this room right now, I I can look over there and I have a friend that's that hard over there. I've known her since for five and a half years.
帰ろうやはりみんな頼むぞよし今都心では冷たい雨がみぞれに変わろうとしています吐く息も真っ白で気温は3度しかありませんすでに八王子では雪が3センチ積もっていまして今夜にかけて大雨や大雪になるところもありそうですさて9時現在の各地の積雪です秩父6センチ日光4センチ前鉢2センチとなっています雨や雪は今夜半には止みそうですさてひまわりです低気圧に伴う厚い雲が東日本一帯を覆ってこの雲の下で雨や雪が降っているんです現在東京都の多摩、埼玉の秩父、群馬県に大雪注意報が出されていますさて明日は冬型に戻って全般にだいたい晴れるんですが北部の山沿いでは時々雪が降るでしょう As Tully the lawyer, you must creep your way through the mansion to find the vault and unlock the treasure of the Adams family. Hey, if Tully's gonna succeed, a few extra lives couldn't hurt. Here's how to get them. Turn on your TurboGrafx CD system and press Run to bypass the opening cinema sequence. When Tully appears on the game screen, and Gomez says... Okay, I'm back. Thank you for your patience, everyone. And actually, now that you mention it, OBS does report some dropped frames here, which is interesting. Maybe there's actually so much so visual noise in this game experiment. that it's like... My goal was to isolate Joker's degeneracy, but to you, it's a magnet. Yeah, maybe there's just so much like flickering and stuff that it's actually overloading the encoder? I've been curious about that. I'll try to keep an eye on it. Yeah, there's particle effects all over the place. Okay, so now I'm ranked two, but this still says plus two. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, I guess they do. Man, I want you to be rank 40. Holy moly. What does the little what does the little P mean? What does the P mean? What does the P mean? I think you get you get the currency that you use to spend in these. You get that reward? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you spend those to go into the dimensional stuff. Ah, golly, golly almighty. I guess I'll try to do one of these. Brainiac's terraforming operation will not stand. You're leading the counterattack. Deliver a high yield payload into that machine. Said low ammo. That doesn't seem very low ammo. I mean, whatever. I guess you do you do move pretty fast. Businesses, but industrial machinery works too. I hope this pain train never stops. Got the good stuff waiting at the truck to help you fight. That is beautifully animated. Yes, Jonkler like flipping around. I don't know. This game this game's animations are some of the best I've seen. The way that the characters like change direction and momentum, even in the air. Like it's one thing for characters to run around on the ground, but these characters are like flipping and shifting like momentum and stuff. I don't know. It's cool. I think it's real cool. I don't 
don't get to send bombs by mail. Nobody does. Attack the truck! Did it freeze up? Did it happen again? It's tough. It's tough to like keep an eye on the on the monitor at the same time. When I was streaming Cyberpunk, I had a lot of dropped frames and never had that issue before. Yeah, you can uh like you can have an encoder that that handles everything just fine most of the time, but some games and some specific effects can just really squeeze the squeeze the math. So, hmm. There's something I've dropped 4,300 frames so far. And bloody, like so much ground meat. That's a lot of frames. Brainiac phases those towers in. You take them out. Signal tower ahead of the payload. Wipe out all enemy forces. What the fuck is this? God, he's so far away. Ah, not even showing me like a... That sound effect is so wild. There's so much going on. Ah, oh, I hate these guys. Barely any damage. Maybe I just gotta just gotta keep dodging, I guess. Push them back with the jammer. New priority target. Enhanced for surveillance. Harley, I can't resist a funny lady's target. Nine eight to get this gun back! Like the way you you can like take off flipping to the side looks so natural. Skull ship? Get to the payload and take cover. No more useful to me alive than fried. Regroup at the payload shield. But this box not radioactive, but you think that blasts more air fryer or oven. Shield on the tower is done. Take it out. You got nothing nice to say, Signal Tower. Best to shut up! That's pretty jonkly. I don't know. Like, the the ability to flip around like that is pretty cool when you're in the right range, I guess. I'm still kind of relearning how to play, too. Sheesh. What is 
jammer pulse. What are you talking about? Did nothing. I made a mistake. Oh, I thought that was going to kill it. Oh, my God. That is just one of many, many nodules to shoot. Yeah, thank you. That'd be good. You do that. Joker's got one foot in the grave. Hewlett's ushering his last laugh. Ah. <sighs> We're going somewhere. Without that tower, their reception will be wretched. You forgot you forgot about the jonkler? Oh gee, this was a bad idea. How could you? Follow that payload inside. I can't believe you would forsake the jonkler like this. <laughs> After all he's done for you. All he's all he's done for society against society, really. And boom goes the cockatoo. The halo is almost delivered. Stay the course. Defend it until the end. It's critical the bomb has time to arm. Don't what the? let them take the payload. Oh, wrong thing. Well, whatever. people come from shit Ugh. Rich douchebag is actually going to jail. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What a what a flip of the what a flip of the script. Under a minute to go. Don't let him get a lock on that bomb. What the? You let them do is that bad? I don't understand. 
What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I've had this issue before where I get to the end and I'm not quite sure what the objective is. Did too many dudes like hit the hit the truck? The payload was fully scanned. Take out ambushes and signal towers and or use jammer pulse in the final segment. You've seen two Earths that have fallen to me now. It's almost a shame to stop you here before you take in the whole collection. I didn't use a jammer pulse. Didn't extend my car's warranty. Let's call this what it is. Good old fashioned sabotage. All right. A question for you for all John Carter. I mean, it's terraforming is. I do get to where I'm just not looking at the UI. So it may it may actually have an objective listed somewhere that I'm just straight up not looking at. There's so much like there's always an enemy on screen. There's always somebody shooting at you. There's always something to do. So it's kind of hard to just like step back and think about what the hell's going on. Save the truck. It's got a family. I'm also a little fuzzy about like what specifically you have to do to uh to open up the towers. Is it, is it like you just have to kill everything? If, if it's around, you have to kill it. Doesn't it tell you in the codex? An interesting proposition. Which one of these am I doing right now? It's not bug out. Provide a charge to the Terminot and the Jammer. Perform any special requirement to gain additional charges. When the Jammer is charged, return to the safe zone. Yeah, I think I was supposed to come back and activate the truck, and I just never did it. All unit update. If they delay new Kolu by even a moment, I'll liquefy you all. Tower phasing in. I am still a little fuzzy on, yeah, what the, how you, specifically how you make the towers, uh, vulnerable. What? I got, I got scared. A lot of scan data. Do not waste this direct connection to my ship. Use the jammer if you need to. I wonder what any of that means. Yeah, do I just have to kill everything? Let's just kill everything. Wait, what is that? Why does that have a. Do I want the trunk lock meter to go up or down? I want it to go down, right? Look out for an enemy with a full scanning ability. 
enemy with improved scanning ability. But very results driven. We don't want the scans to happen. Okay, and then yeah, okay, the lock meter went down. Smooth jazz anymore, Alex the truck. Why is the yeah, why is the truck lock already so so ridiculous? Ah, Thunderball, thanks for the sub. Jammer, what are you talking about? Shit. Is it at the truck? Uh, oh gee, this was a bad idea. Thank you very much for the sub. Do I stand on it? What's this red thing? Joker, Purple thing? Why does death? Let's make it official, shall we? Should we attack the signal tower now? Or soon? Critical counter on the tank. Reloading already? You have to shoot the gun barrel? You go to the truck, apparently you can do something. Yeah, I'm, I've been trying to. I mean, you can heal. That's nice. You can do this. Not as helpful as you think. Yeah, oh, I thought if you shot a pustule uh, with a counter that that would get it, but... Allowed the skull ship to phase out the payload. That makes the most sense. I know exactly what I did wrong. I let the skull ship phase out the payload. I could, I, of course, I could have hit the buttons to prevent the skull ship from phasing out the payload. Why couldn't I have? <sighs> I'm impressed you've maintained your focus. What's driving you? A grudge? Fear of Waller? Something more disappointing? I don't know what they want from me. I'm gonna be real. Like, am I just not doing enough damage to kill the tank in time? What the fuck? Is that it? Because they're that's an awfully weird way of saying you didn't kill the tank fast enough. I can phase out the payload. Phase my ass. How about that? He's my butt crack. 
God, that's twice. That's twice. I just like fucking, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> it's annoying. Keep your cargo truck moving. The tank was stopping your vehicle. Does the scan meter go up when your, when your truck is stopped? Is that what it is? Also, I can't kill it fast enough. I want bodies on the floor, TFX. Bag them, tag them, and we're golden. Unless there's some like mega damage mechanic to a tank that I don't understand. It, feel, it feels like there is. There is a critical counter, but I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Secure area. God. Oh. Eat, eat my butt. See how much damage that did? I promise I won't chase you if you join me. Integration will simply lend method to your madness. Alright. Yeah, the, the scaling seems a little whack. Maybe it's a level thing? Like an individual character level thing? I don't know. Gotta swipe a credit card if I want to kill a tank, right? Can't can't believe I let the the skull ship phase the tank. What a what a rookie mistake. Oops, meant to be a warning shot. <laughs> Skull ships. That's how they get you. Those skull ships. They're wily. They'll scan your trucks or whatever. I'll be right down. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, scan. Just call me the pinball Boomerang, if it's worth shooting once. Uh. Oh yeah, they get shields. That's right. Oops. All right. Please pacify the clown. Remember which button is which. There we go. Uh, does this like, does this remove this as an activity from the map or, or is it just like you were just choosing to do this activity? Last one out to run egg. Maybe the tank is susceptible to a different kind of weapon damage. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Something didn't feel right about that tank. Sometimes it feels like I hit that in Suicide Squad, though. Like the the numbers, the uh, the knobs just get twiddled, and one enemy takes forever to kill. Well, it's no adult coloring book, but this activity might pass the time. Judge a clear time. We're on shield. Ooh, failure, it's junkler time. Ah, uh, I have to hit, I have to kill something. There we go. I think, 
Yeah, you think I'm the number one Joker player in the world right now? Man, what a title. Do I get a trophy or something? What's up with that? Killing anything. I'm reloading. I'm just chasing a bunch of snipers. It's pointless. This target boomerang. <laughs> you rascal. Oh, I guess somebody used a thing. Okay, so now I set people on fire. All right. I like it. You cannot let the clown massacre you like this. Take him down. Oh, I got dinged. That's easy. I can junkle all day over here. Incoming reinforcements. Neutralize and integrate all units. The earthlings have stolen from me. For your sake, do not let them reach the portal. Yeah, Casanova. He's actually pretty fun to play as, I have to admit. His, his big old jumps are actually really fun. Good. And man, you can like you can really just install yourself at high altitude and shoot down at people. So if he had like a super accurate rifle, but the rifle I have now is kind of more meant for short range, so I think it actually has pretty bad damage scaling. Does it feel ten dollars fun though? Eh. This is zany. I'm talking Ace Chemicals Mini Golf Course zany. Ha! I was thinking, new toy, regrettable tattoo, new toy. Pistol. It's got so much damage. Merlin's shots can penetrate up to five targets and have 75% increased critical hit chance. Dealing two consecutive critical hits on an enemy reduces the damage that deals for jibber jibber jibber. Oh, which one do I want to? Hmm. Hmm. Just more damage than the rifle. Note to self: This one fires live bullets. The perfect weight for waving around. Yeah, uh, I guess undecided more than is the answer. Oh my goodness. 
Joker. A man willing to take a chance. Something earthlings. Grenade. Uh okay, yeah, no, it's still there. Okay. That's just like uh you just do that to get to get gear. So I guess the these are the, the like meant to be the seasonal activities, the ones that are the one the ones that I haven't been able to do yet. Sheesh, alright, I'll try it. Take the terraformer down. Alright. I did I tried this before. I feel like I got pretty far one time. Not if you blast every one of his terraformers to pieces first. You got shoved by the jonkler? No. No. I'm sorry you went through that. Hello, mail truck. Ah, uh, fuck you. Well, here we are again. Joker forcing relocation. Ah, damn it. That was almost a one shot. Maybe, okay, maybe this pistol will shoot the tank to death. Explosive device. <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> what a wacky boy. Yeah, I'm not sure he's doing. Oh, is it Troy Baker? He's having fun. It kind of sounded like it to begin with. I've heard I've heard other things that aren't super Troy E. But he's good. Troy's good. Want our mail truck? Let's give them some stamps. Keep smiling, Joker. I have your target. <laughs> Rebound. Uh, beginning our descent. Weird. Worked on my earth. God, the freeze frame or the freezing is gonna really help clear enemies. Yeah, I I'm kinda looking forward to his Indiana Jones. Unaware of your cosmic I hope he can do like flustered indie, because to me that's the most charming indie. And I feel like that also is kinda kinda makes him a lot more relatable and human. You've got a new signal tower to deal with. I guess more specifically, I hope it doesn't fall into the trap of like, since it's like a, a reinterpretation of a character, just like making him only badass and doing cool things all the time nonstop. I hope there will be like those, you know, endearing, t like even sensitive moments, which kind of happen in the movies. I 
high priority target. Something like marks. It's like a what? Oh. It's like an indicator of a buff getting applied, and it zoomed to the bottom of the screen. Power shield integrity? I've just seen that meter now. Ship blast. We want this, I think. We want We want the skull ship to blast. Got the good stuff waiting in the truck to help you fight. Are we sure the shield is all up to Interrupting this power signal for a word from our sponsors at ARG. I don't know how any player can keep track of anything here. You can scale up to it, but it is it is almost like an MMO level of stuff going off all the time. I'm still I'm still a little fuzzy on the actual objectives. But you probably won't be surprised to know that it'll, it probably just boils down to kill things as fast as you can. Fuck? Use the jammer. Just simply use the jammer. And purple's my color. There we go. Yeah. You just have to kill the tank fast enough. Is it really worth all this salt to take a tower offline? How to use Joker? Bottom couldn't figure out how to swap to him. Oh, okay. So you have to, you have to not be in a game session. Oh, hold on. Lex has some shit to say. You have to exit, exit your game session, and then at the title screen, there is a. Yeah, he already said this. Ah. Uh, if you're at the top menu, uh, there's a button prompt to change the characters in your four-character roster. And that's how you can swap in Jon Jonkler. Yes, you could say that. Ooh, catchy. God. Okay. So yeah, you have to go to quit session and then at the top, like at the top menu, if you tab over to Joker, it'll say like X swap character. And then you can drop in somebody. Approaching the target. Because it took me a minute to find that one out too, yeah. Let it get scanned. We don't like the scanning. It's a no on scans then. So how do I stop scanning? What the fuck? 
Fuck! God! Run! So, what am I supposed to do here? Bomb arming three jammer pulses. Alright, let me go do a jammer pulse. You don't understand the first thing about terraforming. I can enlighten you. Enemies. Oh, Boy, man, I like this technology. Okay. What the fuck? God! The margin of error. Their scanning is almost complete. I don't know what that means! Hot bumps! Just for you, squad! Come and get it! Oh, there's a tank there? How long's that been there? God damn it. I'm fucked then. That's cool. Stop it! God damn! Like right after you jump is the. Ah! God, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! The skull ship is phasing out the payload. The skull ship phased out the payload. God. God. Damn it. What the fuck? Is this balanced for like four. It must be balanced for like four human players or something. Ugh. Take out the signal towers quick. Yeah, I guess the tank probably sat there for a while, but fuck me. My warriors, the Prometheum from your enhancements is fueling their incursions. Make better use of yourselves. Time for a very special mail delivery. Attention all. Uh, the resistance trying this one more time. Down a terraformer. These goddamn skull ships and their phasing. I have in my hands a new to me dumb five second long Jordan Peterson clip. Uh, sure. Yeah, five seconds is just the right amount of Jordan Peterson. A tolerable amount. Hold on a minute. Got a little link here. Uh, I don't think you can compare, like, Hitler to people that are worried about climate change. The worry that I Why have here not? is... <laughs> That's pretty good. Do you want attention? That's pretty good. For you. <laughs> A taste of Peterson. so weird to remember the, like, StarCraft days for Destiny. What a debate lord he's become. Up yours, Wokers. Joker interview five. Hold on. Nope, we got we got a lot of Joker interviews to listen to. Thank God. This whole musical interrogations bit. What a hoot! Clock's ticking, Joker. Start shooting straight. What really happened to your last squad? Like emotionally? Hurt people hurt people, Mandy. Not like I need to tell you that. Reports peg you as last clown standing. You see, that smells like a double cross to me. Eh, more 
are Zemtex and charred entrails. <laughs> you know how far a human head can fly with enough explosive force? So you're sticking to the story that you murdered your team? Doing Brainiac's dirty work for him? My dirty work is mine and mine alone! See, where I come from, we take ride or die pretty literally. Well, you're on my world now, Joker. And I'm the one who decides when and how Task Force X lives or dies. Man, tough talk with the Jonkler. Oh. You really think you're something special, don't you? But I see you right through you. You and your whole shtick. The hair, the fancy clothes, the swagger. Get this through your pointy little skull. I'm the guy that decides what goes up and where it comes down. Duly noted, Mr. Up, Down, Back, Around Guy, sir. I'll get that in my Rolodex right away. Quick question. What exactly makes you think I'm your problem child? I've met you before. I've met a thousand psychos like you. And every single one of them was a pain in my ass. I see. Well, I look forward to changing your mind, Mr. Flag, sir. Oh, P.S. How is your ass doing these days? Oh, you want to get up in my business, huh? I can get personal. What's the spill on you and the other clown, huh? She and the last Joker... Why is he so interested in Flag's ass? The shrink? Strictly co-workers, just like you and I. But hey, look at the bright side. Who wouldn't be? You got a wide open net, and I think I might be strong enough to love again. The stars are aligning. Do you feel it, Rick? You're gonna be feeling something in a minute, you little... <clears throat> You're gonna have to work harder than that. You're below my rank. And... I'm out of your league. That beautiful, beautiful ass. You kill your squad to save them from Brainiac. Then Brainiac turns around and remakes Earth into your image. I don't buy it. Make it make sense, Joker. You still think I'm in cahoots with the big bulbous brain? Well, let's run it down. There was the kidnapping, creative torture techniques, scrambling my DNA like stir fry. Oh, hmm. I guess he did share my love language. Stop wasting my time. Oh, relax. Old Brainy don't trust anyone he can't control like an ill-fitting finger puppet. Least of all, yours truly. So then why turn an entire world into a monument for your phony prat fallen ass? You think that tacky sideshow was my idea? Darling, I'm a psychopath, not an egomaniac. Where's the subtlety, the wit, the measured panache? When everything's a punchline, the joke just isn't funny anymore. He's got a point. I'm growing weary of their antics. Alright, back to this sensory overload of a video game. Brainiac's trapping a signal tower. Yet again, the Jonkler is correct. An energy signature. Well, well, well. What have we here? them back with a jammer, she says. She's helping. Ah! 
Yeah, there's this tower shield integrity meter. What's that all about? What the? Ah. Uh. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. School ship last minute. Skull ship. So does killing dudes charge the skull ship? And we want that to happen so that it kills all the enemies, so that I can take out the towers, so that the truck can drive forward, so that the truck lock doesn't finish, so that the tr the skull ship doesn't get phased out. Is that what we're dealing with? That's my favorite. All that, all that explosion just for reloading. God damn it. I guess it is just killing people fast enough. We are sending a spear. Uh, so when I'm near the truck in the first couple of sequences and I hit X, it just it heals me and I think gives me grenades, which I should probably use a lot more to come back and get yeah get grenades and throw them a ton. But uh, but then a man willing to take a chance. Later, there is a, uh, yeah, there is like a, a jammer you can turn on, but it lasts like a couple of seconds. And they, from, from what I could tell, it sounded like enemies that you kill while the jamming is happening will reduce the meter. So you like, I guess, have to buy your way back, essentially. Um, why are some of the, why are some of these like all sparkly? I guess they're, they're more important abilities. Yeah, there's a lot happening, isn't there? A lot happening. I don't. I think it like the meter also on the truck fills up, and I don't know what it hap what happens when it fills up. <laughs> your Joker. Maybe that's how you can do a jammer. Shit, let me up. They can't all oh my god. Ah, it's happening. I hate this stuff. Do the thing. Nice ah, god, the enemies move around so much that if you don't hit like ex exactly the right button. Why can't I? Oh, they're, they're on the ground? Why can't I blow this up? Ah, see, like I'm, I'm losing time and I can't fucking figure out why. There's a stupid shield around this stupid thing, and I can't tell why the fuck. So it does this. The second I use it, I got knocked down. So I, I guess that lowered the meter. 
I don't know if anyone saw that and was able to verify. It doesn't, actually. I'm just getting hit by everything all the time. What the fuck? What the fuck? This, this is ridiculous. This is too absurd. Already shot. The first thing I did, shot. Shot to death. Got something to help you out. Back in the truck. Oh, it froze more? I didn't... It doesn't say that I dropped more frames, but I, that doesn't mean that I didn't. There's two tanks here! You're fucking kidding me! And snipers! Come on! You have to interrupt those scans now, or we've lost the payload! Joker targeted for elimination! Hmm. They're gonna scan the tr their truck locking. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. I'm good. Thank you. That's not balanced for a single player. Or something. I don't know. If I'm supposed to do something else, what is it? Because those are all the activities. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I had focused the tanks, but I didn't even know they were there. There's so much shit going on. I I was like busy trying to figure out why I couldn't shoot a turret that had a shield over its ball. Nah. I'm gonna play something else. Let's play, uh... Let's play... Alpha Protocol. I wanna start Alpha Protocol. I'll be right back. Uh, sorry Gomez. I'm a bit busy right now. Quickly press up, up, right, down, left, and up. Now you got 99 extra lives. Ramen. Dessert wa? Ochazuke. Okay, I know you guys are a bunch of no-good shitheads dealing in drugs, gambling, and prostitution, and I'm calling the cops. Shit! 
ダメスリーパーにしろあのヘビー級のラワさんでいきましょうヘビー級の超ヘビー級の腕一本取るんだって疲れるんでしょそうですね,ねそ,そ,ですそのままタイを預けた預けたタイを預けましたそしてスタンハンセンが先に起き上がると危ないウエスタンがありがとうかわしたあーもう一回食ってしまった返してほしいもう一回返してほしいダメだダメだ最後はロープ際かわしたそしてウエスタンダリアットも1回はかわした2発目至近距離のウエスタンダリアットを送ってしまいました小橋残念ですいやー竹内さん Like no other game in the series, Super Return of the Jedi begins in a Mode 7 level, a trip to Jabba's Palace in the land speeder before dawn. Use the B button to accelerate and Y to jump from landmass to landmass. As in any Mode 7 level, be on the lookout for vital shield power-ups. Choose Luke for the next level. Your goal is to reach Jabba's Palace. The boss is the door guard that was in the movie. But before you start fighting him, you should eliminate the laser weapons mounted on the wall with a double jump lightsaber move. Defeat the boss with a double jump lightsaber attack. But be careful not to get too close to him because he may unleash a deadly electricity attack. Choose Luke once again for the third level. Make your way through the dark halls of Jabba's palace as you watch for those green pigs and opening grates in the floor. To be Fortuna, boss, swing at him with a lightsaber by pressing Y repeatedly. When he disappears, jump into wherever he appears next and resume your attack. Use heal force power whenever needed. The next level should present no problem, but the Rancor Pit is another story. Bust through the gray clutter of claws and rumble with a double jump lightsaber move. Be sure to get all the R2-D2 save points. When you reach the evil rancor, Jabba's pet, you'll die. Hey, that's life. Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. It's the best simulator available for the Super Nintendo at this time. You get a chance to race all 16 courses around the world. The weather is constantly changing from sunny to cloudy to wet. You get a chance to change your tyres, your aerofoils and your engines in your car. Uh, the speed and graphics on this game is amazing. Basically, play the game and you'll see what I believe. エンジン全開ワープあのヤマトの作戦指令室が今君のものに宇宙戦艦ヤマト作戦指令室衝撃のロールプレインゲーム機能戦艦ガルエネルギーパークを100個ドラッグを倒せファミリーコンピューターゲーム機能戦艦ガルベイビーソフト The second and third waves contain faster traffic and a few crocodiles instead of logs. You can jump on the back of the crocodile and ride him safely. Okay. Let's put our faith in good old games and... Oh! See if this just fires right up. I remember this game having a banger score. It's a bit louder than... Jesus Christ. This game's a bit louder than uh, Suicide Squad. Good, good, good. Oh, let's we can crank it even more. God bless. Good job. Cool. I really didn't expect this to like work. <laughs> I mean, I know good old games always invest in that. There's no way. There's zero chance that the motion blur in this game is good. Although, you know what? This is a Gen 7 game, so I think the motion blur ought to be on. I always argue for motion blur because I think it looks stupid, but campy games ought to be like, we'll see. I'm leaving it on, baby. New game. I remember playing this on hard for the achievements back in the day. It's unnecessary. Let's see here. What's our history? We could be a soldier decorated for service in the armed forces. Your commanding officer felt that general infantry was a waste of your potential. Your natural language, talent, and quick wit caught the attention of a recruiter for an agency that efficient doesn't officially exist. That's the soldier field agent, no stranger to covert ops. 
We spent the last several years working for the U.S. State Department on overseas assignments. Capable of being a charismatic presence one moment and an inconspicuous shadow the next. You're always the agent on location, never the one hiding behind a desk. It could be a tech specialist. Having made a mockery of every aptitude test sent your way, it was no surprise that you finished your first PhD before you were legally allowed to buy alcohol. While the CIA initially hired you to design cutting-edge electronics, being cloistered in a lab proved unsatisfying and your superiors granted you a transfer to clandestine services. When your handler was asked to recommend an agent for a top-secret reassignment, your remarkable field work and your natural grasp of technology made you the obvious choice. And I guess... Freelancer? <laughs> He's blasting. Fearless from birth, the only thought that ever caused you an ounce of panic was the thought of a 9-to-5 job. After a remarkable college career, you vanished off the radar of the known world to make your fortune. According to your dossier, you've been a mercenary in Africa, a bodyguard of the Sultan of the of Brunei, the on-again, off-again paramour of a European princess, and the holder of three patents in Great Britain. While the truth is somewhere in the middle, one thing is... One, one thing that is clear, your skills caught the attention of some very important people in the espionage world. So sick. Ooh. Re select recruit for additional challenge. Choosing this background opens an additional recruit dialogue. Whoa. And then it unlocks an additional. Well, you got to use recruit the first time then. Haha. <laughs> Yes, slashed thighs. Thank you for reminding me. So I hope that link still resolves. Uh, yeah, I am partnered. Oh, it just goes to... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think it just dumps to the main site. That's great. Uh, I'm partnered... Or I have an affiliate... I'm like, I'm part of the Good Old Games affiliate program. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, they... Actually, that's how we got this code. Um, so thank you for the free game, Good Old Games. Wait, no, I bought it. Never mind. Uh, there was an, I think Ion Fury I got. Yeah, no, this one I was just like, ah, screw it, I'll just buy it. Uh, anyway, Good Old Games is awesome. Uh, they recently released this, and I couldn't be happier because I've always remembered this game fondly. Look at that cool soul patch. We're gonna need a soul patch. Though you've barely logged three months working for the Department of Justice, your ambition, drive, and aptitude caught the eye of a clandestine government agency. The path will be difficult. With little experience and formal training, you'll have to rely on your wits while you learn your lessons in the field. Select. Stealth is for sure busted. Sabotage. Toughness. Iron will. An adrenaline rush that increases hand-to-hand -hand damage, reduces the effectiveness of enemy blocking attempts, and slows the world. The fun thing about Alpha Protocol is that it's absolutely busted. Pretty much no matter what. No matter what skill path you, you try to max out, everything has something that completely breaks the game and makes it a joke. And it's kind of awesome. You gotta buy stealth, though. Oh, I have zero AP. I can't buy anything. I'm a baby. I'm a, I'm a stupid recruit. Ooh, I opened God Galaxy, and the first two games I see are Helping the Hotties and the Helping the Hotties demo. Well, at least there's a demo. Hold on, now I'm curious. I want to help the hotties. Oh, whoa. that was close, huh? Ah. Uh. In helping the hotties, you are a psychology student ready to finally spend the summer with your super hot girlfriend. But instead of spending the summer with her, you receive an unexpected phone call. The next morning, you're on a bus going to work at a behavioral rehabilitation camp. And as you'll soon learn, this year will be different. Your goal is to lead a group of four beautiful attendees through their journey of self-improvement and reintegration into society while trying to remain as professional as possible and maintain a long-distance relationship. It might prove more challenging than you expect. Every girl has a different personality, her whims and wants, and it's up to you to keep them satisfied. 
Are you up for the task? While under the watchful gaze of the head camp counselor, Eve, she has her eye on you and she's not the only one. Helping the hotties. This game may contain content not appropriate for all ages and may not be appropriate for viewing at work. <laughs> Hold on. One of the features, one of the bullet points is plenty of room for your imagination to blossom. That's on top of exquisite images, provocative and seductive animations, and alluring music and sound effects. Hidden collectibles. Collect panties. There are panties to find. So anyway, helping the hotties available now in good old games. There. Now that I've now that I've read the info page for helping the hotties, I'm allowed to play Alpha Protocol. Imagination is the greatest gift, really. It's the greatest gift of all. And the children. Imagination and the children. Can we roleplay as Ethan Hunt? Uh, good question. The answer is no, because you can get laid in this game. And Ethan Hunt is celibate. He's a monk. I guess he plowed his wife back in the day. Can you be Vin Diesel? I am Vin Diesel in every game. What was the most current Vin Diesel circa the release of Alpha Protocol? Oh, hey, Steve. This game rules. If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. No! Oh! Love it! They just hit you with it right off the top. Ba boom! They drugged me? How do, I get, how do I get my soul patch? Fail the next drug screening test. They could have just asked me to close my eyes. Bleh. Look at that sick motion blur, though, huh? Cinematic. Looks like he's got a dune shield on or something. Oh, that is wretched. Oh, man. Meh. Yeah, okay. All right. It's not it's not even fun motion blur. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Now we're playing a video game. This game is actually a controller game now that I think about it. Should probably use a controller. Cuz there's really no aiming. Right? Isn't there like just tons of lock on? It's it's definitely more of an RPG kind of thing. Oh, I can't Hmm. What the f That's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Good. You're awake. Pulling for controllers is a silly new thing. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm still coming down. What? Ugh. Never mind. Just clearing my head. Oh yeah, the QR code. Pretty strong. What do I do? I'm surprised you're even able to stand. What? I don't think we've met. Yeah. Hey. Mina. 
and the static on the screen is interference, not the drugs. Too bad. Static's a good look for you. So. <laughs> Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Let me check the room. There's got to be another way out. All right, then. Don't take too long. The door's locked down. But you might be able to find a way to break the glass. All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm, it's not really scanning for me. Oh, the chest might be better. Yeah, that that looks maybe more like a whole thing. Let's see. Nah. I'm not getting anything. They didn't have... Did QR codes even exist like that back when this game came out? I love game... I love that this game... Or games from this era now... In case of emergency. Oh, oops. Probably a cooler way to do that. Uh, I love that games of this era are now, like, noticeably dated and nostalgic. Enough that you might you just hold on. Send some guards to tuck you back in. Got him. Suave. Perk up. You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Oh yeah, the the jank level. Yeah, the just the general presentation and the the on some on some level the ostentation of newer games has it's just really leveled up. The uh with a level of class. Yeah, here we go. Left click a pin to clip a circuit. All right. Clip circuits in numerical order to bypass the terminal. Flipping the wrong circuit will decrease the time left. Running out of time will trigger an alarm. Flipping all circuits will override the board. Start bypass. Completely super hack. Oh, okay, you don't have to wait. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. What if I... maybe I can like... Nope. Oh. I can't remember, there's like a crouch? How does that... how does that work? There it is. They just had to unlock. Dun 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 dun. Got him. It's on. Look at that reticle, man. Gotcha. Whoa. It's like going back to like your classroom or something and everything is really, really small. Whoa. Watch it. Man. It was that awkward phase between people having like SD and HD TVs. Look at how big this door is. Pick up special ammo. Oh. This game had HD settings if you had the HDMI Xbox 360. Ooh. 
That had to feel pretty cool. Oh, pranks! Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Awesome. I've trained for this. I've done the simulations. I keep thinking E is use. Oh, that's right. There's like cover. I'll check it out. Watch your area. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Hurt! What? So fast? Look at that depth of field, though, huh? The big reticle, I'm sure, is is owing to the fact as well that I'm like a beginner at every skill. Man, what a cool tough guy fight this is. There we go. Beginning of police squad. Your secret agent who has years of experience? No, that's not the background I picked. I'm a, I'm a baby. I'm a little baby. I have specific little baby dialogue at some point. Yeah, these are these are some good jams. I remember really liking, like I said, I remember really liking the score for this game. So I'm excited to hear it again. I remember the uh, the combat tracks being like really high high energy, a lot of like crazy drum riffs and stuff. Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. Oh, baby, lock picking. Move the mouse up or down. Left click sets the pin. Line it along the shear line. Trying to miss a line pin. We'll strain the pick and eventually break it. Line and set all pins to pick the lock. Okay. We are lock picking, baby. Remember when. Like the quirkiest thing about gaming was having a having an opinion about your preferred lock picking minigame. We've come so far. No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Sick. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. Z to ready a special ability. Once selected, press Q to use it. What did it do? Mike will sense nearby enemies. Arrows show. Oh. Facing an alertness of potential threats. Okay. Fuck. That's awesome. This gives me John Woo's stranglehold vibes. Eh. It's a bit different. I mean, it's it's a little more like kind of Mass Effect y. But I can see that. It's got the look. I've been wanting to play that game. I think that game is also available on... Ah! Good old games. Nice. Bad for you. 
All right, I won't. I won't blow myself up this time. Mike, get out of there. Ragdolls are fun. I also kind of like the idea that uh, like a room can be an atomized challenge where stealth is sort of the phase of the game where you buy yourself as much leniency as you can get. God. Over here! Over here! Man, I kicked his ass so hard he flew to the other side of me. Yeah. Never saw it coming, did he? I'm too good. I got the moves already. I got the power. I got the juice. They just don't know what to do. Siphon funds or disable security. Hmm. So wait, what do you what do you hack? Whoops! God damn it! Oh, this one's this one's hefty. Did I not do it? Alarm system deactivated. Oh, the cam or the camera's just pointing right at me. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this is the thing. Yes, hack minigame. Find the two passwords hidden in the data stream. Okay. Use waz and mouse. Move the sequences at the top. Match the top password with its twin. Lock in the left password with space and the right with left click. If the security bar fills up, the sequence will move. Running out of time will trigger an alarm. Lock in both passwords to hack the terminal successfully. Okay. Uh. I s okay. End of the line, Mike. Give it up. Hack computer. Consider it hacked. All right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. The hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential, especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. Is this place hidden? Very. Not only does this place not exist, but places that think they know about this place, well, they don't exist either. That's a little... confusing. <laughs> Hell of a lot easier than politics. Let me guess. This dialogue, You're not dude. Done me yet. Yep, I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk face to face. That make you feel better? It depends on the tests, I guess. Well, then I guess it depends on how you do on the test, then. Starting with this one. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Although with your experience, it's more like a pamphlet. Fresh out of Langley, we had to wipe behind your ears before shipping you over. I think I've got potential, sir, and I'm anxious to prove it. We'll see. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. 
but we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. What if this was F and V? Wouldn't that be cool? I'll let you out of the pin here and meet the rest of the crew. There's more of you. I'm unique. So's the rest of the staff. They all have their little quirks, but that's what makes them perfect for the job. They'll be running you through the basics of. They all have their quirks, but that's what makes them perfect for the job. On the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one and dangerous, but I think you're the man for the job. When your parents FaceTime you. See you soon. Great. Just like high school. Take some tests, then chat with the guidance counselor about my future. Yeah. He was so snarky, huh? How about that snark? Maybe I can buy a karate chop? CQC proficiency increases the damage inflicted with all hand-to-hand -hand attacks. You know I need that karate chop. Time to karate chop. Gonna buy the karate chop. Suave. Reduced cooldown on all abilities. So cool. Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. Man, look at this desk. I want to work there. You hear these beats though? These are some pretty sick beats. Damn, this guy's cool. Got a scar. Use the locker to change appearance. After using the locker, proceed with orientation or return to the interrogation room for your mission. You probably want to change. Go on. Your gear's in the lockers. Okay. Cause I'm gonna need that gonna need that soul patch. Beautiful. The West and its allies shall bear the cost of what they brought to our people, to our country, and they will answer for it. You seek to take our land? Undermine our faith? 
All that you have seen this day is the answer to your brutal acts, the only language America understands. I am a man of my word, and this I promise you. This attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. Oh, oh, look at that. I got to level up for watching the news. Five percent Intel discount from Saudi vendor. <laughs> you know, I listened to that dude's whole speech. So, uh, how about you shave off a little ruble or two from me, huh? Damn, this game rocks. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, it's great. You might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. It's Nolan. Hey, buddy. Let me just hack this email in front of you. God. Regarding the parcel, buyers confirmed as an agent of Al Samad. Seller appears to be operating under the name Nasri. <clears throat> Forensic team has completed a survey of suspected firing location as predicted by triangulation models. What? Good news. Evidence of a ground-launched missile. That had to have been a gr guided missile. No way an unguided rocket could have hit an airliner at that altitude. Have been confirmed by discarded Sabot and particulate matter. Both of which were fired with 99% certainty when flight 6133 was shot down. Bad news. The missile Sabot matches no known ground-to-air missile systems. None. There's no discernible markings, no telltale design marks. Sizing and composition makes it a sure bet for NATO-built weapon, but beyond that, we can't place it. It's almost certain that this is some sort of new generation tech. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hashtag. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. This is from Westridge. Attention, we have a new fish coming on board tomorrow. You'll refer to him as Michael Thornton. We're taking a bit of a chance on Thornton. He's pretty much a raw recruit in the CIA. Only six months of field work to his name. We'd normally expect more field experience from an applicant, but his intelligence and aptitude are off the charts. He's a natural marksman. Learned conversational Farsi after only eight days on assignment in Iran. And according to his handler, broke a terrorist cipher in his spare time. Needless to say, the kid's talents are going to waste at the CIA. <laughs> this, kid's a, this kid's a real son of a bitch. He'll be put through the opening ceremony tomorrow, complete with the hostage scenario and obligatory psych exams. Assuming all goes well, he'll be on our shortlist for Desert Spear. Says Westrich. Westrich. Need some info? I've run the names you sent me and found 17 out of 18 have merely circumstantial links. But there was one element of interest, Skip Baxter, the GOP lobbyist on the list. I found an interesting money trail on him. He collected re-election funds from 16 different corporations. 87.5% were within federal election limits. The remainder were beyond the 2300 limit in place at the time. And pulled them into the True Leadership PAC fund. However, check for the exact... Amount of money Baxter put into the TLPAC fund went out on a check numbered 1016 and memoed restoration. The check was buried internally, but I found the cash check in the records of a bank in Saudi Arabia cashed by Nigel Winthrop. While there are 193 Nigel Winthrops in Interpol's database, that name is a known alias of Saheed. I will inform Westridge. That's some espionage right there. Did you think this game was a joke? No. Spy stuff. Mina Tang writes, That shirt looks becoming on you. Really, Sean? I'm just not interested, she replies. Well, hold on. Let's let's get to the first one. It's the, I think this game might, might be woke. But it's good to know that early. Hey, Mina. I guess you didn't get my email from the other day. No big deal. Maybe we can do dinner tonight. I know the mess hall isn't exactly fine dining, but it's not like we can take a ride down the street for exquisite French cuisine. And who says cafeteria food can't be romantic? I'll save our ketchup packets and frame them for when our grandkids ask about how we met. 
Oh, she replies, really, Sean, I'm just not that interested. And the whole mention of grandkids is just a little bit creepy. Perhaps I can ask Westridge what he thinks of your constant attempts at team building. Oh, ooh, what does that do? Why can't I click that? I don't know. Did Sweet Baby Incorporated consult on this game? I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty clear. The fact that there's any email from the perspective of a woman or acknowledging a woman talking about a big stinky man. I think it's pretty clear. I think it's I think it's clear. I think it's clear. Let's see your weapons orientation. Espionage room. Okay. These are all the orientations. Make you swear the pledge of allegiance to women just to start the game. Mikey, it's pretty clear. A moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Sounds good. So you've been with Alpha Protocol for a while? Sure have. Although you seem to have gotten my next assignment. No hard feelings, I hope. Are you kidding? All right, that should be the last of the setup on my end. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or we're too busy beating up some more guards. This isn't the only orientation I have to take, Agent. I arrived as quickly as I could. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything. They actually pace the dialogue really well in this. We got a lot of work ahead. There's times where, like, one person will start talking right over the line just as it's ending. That's pretty uncommon for games at the time. What's that out there? Used car lot? It's snappy. Range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right then. Oh no, I'm bad at shoots. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. Open up your locker and. Oh. All right, everyone's favorite. Grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start chucking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. All right, now how about something more challenging? Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. The lines feel so forced. Now, try and get one through the, the game. The game gets campier and stupider as it goes. It you, you don't really. It's still playing it pretty straight, but there's there's a fun spirit to this game that I think is kind of evident from the beginning. The truck and take out the gas tank. Ah, never get tired of that one. Now, see that electronic lock there? Use your EMP grenade to shut it down. It can save you time in the field. <laughs> what a sick throw animation. It's shut down. No more lock. Yeah, I don't think I don't I get, I get like using force to describe it. Um I get what you mean. I don't I force is like I think All it's right. See that locker there? It's it's got like a diehard kind of smirk to it. Which I now acknowledge is camp like they kind of know that they're in a espionage game and they're like yeah we're going through the motions let's see here wait what old g to target the door oh nice and just in time hey darcy open up guess some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while Yeah, it's it's the gay porn edge, basically. You, know those you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush. You just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's How's that sound? Are they banging on the door? Oops. Yeah, the 
Doc's gonna be pissed. All right, all done. Head on up, Mike. I'll give you a breakdown on your performance. You hear this music though? It's it's starting to pick up, right? Remember there being some like good clicks and bops. <clears throat> so, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. What do you have in mind? A kiss right. on the mouth. The guards, Five seconds, big boy. Up, pooled our petty cash. And we'd like to make you a little bet. All right. I'm listening. It's a rematch. On our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided. And you take on the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Got it? Sounds good to me. Just head into the range and we'll get to it, Mikey. All right, then. Tell your team to get ready. <laughs> so here we are. How much tension? Rematch for you and the guards, but on their terms. So listen up. There's alarms hidden all over the course. All you need to do is shut them down. But the guards are going to try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in. And they all want a shot at you, trust me. Alarm goes off enough times, and you're going to get trampled. But you have the technology to beat them. So let's see even the odds, if you can. What? What the fuck? Trying to get back to the medical bay, huh? Am I? There's the alarm again. Do I get my like a What the Do I get health back? Oh no! Jesus. What do I do? I just throat punched him? Shit. The. Oh. Oh, it's these, yeah. Does time pass while I'm... Oops. There you go. Getting sick of hearing them anyway. Thought they might have you for a second. Guess I was wrong. All right. Head on up and I'll call someone in to clean up the course. Oh, I could have just used the uh, the ability to keep doing it. Thorough. Made a real mess of things. In a good way. I don't even know. Who cares? That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. 20 Gs? You Fuck yeah. Say so, Mikey. All right. I'm a super spy. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? It's you're gonna be shooting soon, big boy. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory Those eyebrows. Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. All right. Let's, let's keep it profesh. Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. Hey, John Blade. Me and the boys when we're playing the Alpha Protocol. The package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. 
Let's start with the pistol. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. <laughs> that's so. It's <laughs> like the whole screen. <laughs> Steady your aim for a few seconds, then fire. Precision right. shots can take down a target quickly. The crosshair is closed and turned red. Fire for a critical hit. Oh. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. Okay, cool. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. I'm holding two of them, like, tilted. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy's terrible when firing blind, but it can get the job done, eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving That's right, target. gangsta style. <laughs> Wearing my gangsta polo and my gangsta polarized wraparound glasses. Ugh. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. Good. Huh? Am I, am I like doing something? I guess I'm running the course. Now for the shotgun. Holding the trigger steady and firing can knock down even heavily armored targets. Hmm. in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but... Huh. For long-range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful, just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. Mm. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. Yeah, this is one of those pieces of media that wouldn't have existed without 9-11. Yeah, it's it's nice to, to reflect on the fact that, well, I mean 9-11's legacy is ever is ongoing and will will be for decades and centuries to come, but still, yeah. I guess it's not it's nice to be not directly under its shadow. Those were not fun years. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. Alright. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. He is? And here I thought we were going to be such good friends. As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my... affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. Am I? A challenge, I mean. If you have to ask, Thornton, then there's your answer. Oh, It's right. still flirty, though. See we're keeping it light. A little ping pong. I didn't know I was getting scored. It'll do. Mm. Satisfactory enough for Westridge, I think. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. 
I will. I can beat my own score, no problem. Okay, let's give it another go. If you do better on this run, your new score will overwrite the previous one. So it's just, it's time and not missing? I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Oh, what? Get up! Alright, now we're in business. This game has a stat for orphans made. Incredible. Now that's gaming right there. Good. Next. What the? Long-range encounters. The assault rifle's the key. It's accurate. Powerful. I'll have to check the stats. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. This is yeah. This is a very cheeky like, very cheeky uh, game in in an era of Western home. military Even fetishism. Range, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder. Head up and back. All done. It's kind of tasteless, though. I mean, yeah, it is. We'll see. I don't know if that's a joke or not, but we'll see. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Let's see here. What are the misses? I don't understand. Critical. Oh, you get... Okay, you get points for criticals. That's pretty good. Not the best on record. But still, it's got to be the best on record. Run if you want. One more run. The course should be free. I can beat my own score, no problem. I'll slow down and get criticals this time. Okay, let's give it another go. If you do better on this run, your new score will overwrite the previous one. I don't know why it didn't give me a multi kill on that one. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Yeah, such tortoise. The aiming is really similar to Deus Ex. I always liked Deus Ex the way it handled it. With like your your actual reticle would Ah Behave differently based on your skill level. That might be another reason that I really enjoyed this game when it came out. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Is it this? Here we go. Let's see.
Orphans created, yep. Total medical bills. <laughs> God bless America. This is this goes back to what I'm saying though, like this is a rare American game that has the courage to make fun of America. All right. Let's see here. I mean, yeah, it's the height of tastelessness, given what America was up to. That's one of the most impressive scores I've seen. With that in mind, you did so well. I'm wondering if you'd be up for something more challenging. Oh. 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 Did you scale it down for that jackass? I could walk the rest of the way. Jackass? <laughs> now I'm hurting. So will Darcy. Did I mention we don't use live rounds? They still sting, though. I'm listening. Go in there. And if you can hit Darcy where it counts, that'd be worth a recommendation in my report. And worth some rep with Westridge. And it'd be earned. Sure, sounds good. Any preference on weapon? These targets are pretty easy for someone to hit. Thornton could have aced this thing blind. Give me the gun. Let's start with the pistol again. Don't worry. We're using tranquilizer rounds, so you won't be doing any lasting harm to your targets. Besides, turnabout is fair play. They drugged you, so... Oh, shit. That was it? That was the bonus challenge? <laughs> Sick. I got experience for that. You did it. You shot him in the fucking head. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Well done. Critical hit. I don't think I have to worry about Darcy coming by again. Anything else I can do? No, Agent Thornton. Mission accomplished. If you haven't seen Westridge yet, you may want to pay him a visit after all the training is done. You've certainly aced this exercise. Damn, I'm good. Alright, one more orientation. Espionage orientation. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. And I don't need to explain. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. All right, I'm on my way. Hope this course is ready, because I'm not taking any prisoners. Fine. Sooner you're through, sooner we can both get back to work. Shut the fuck up. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Awesome. Covert Ops. I know all about Covert Ops. I'm gonna win this guy over. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. about that old man oops always check your surroundings for cameras oh mind the gap the key to stealth is timing pay attention to camera movements then exploit their blind spots oops all right no problem. Can you not jump over things? I guess not. Sh shit. Okay, there we go. You hear this cool sneaking music? I don't know, there's some pretty, pretty choice beats in this game. A zip line. Stealthy zip line. 
Can I land on this dude? Taking in the view. Yeah, well, I doubt the view is what's making you hesitate. Nice. Got his ass. I've unlocked the security door. Come back to the control room for your evaluation. Your score is based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. Yeah, I got some alarms in there. No disable. Oh, there was guards I didn't disable? Outstanding. Well above average. Especially for a trainee. Okay. You want to run it again? Yeah, I think I can do better. That would be difficult. But you're welcome to try. If you improve, your new score will override the previous one. I wonder if you can get like a perk for it, you know? Because they have... What was it? I got another one. Oh, okay. Just getting discounts and things. I wonder if he'll give me a discount. The thing I disliked about this game is how you sneak walked. It is pretty dumb looking. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Where is it going? What are you doing? God, what are you doing? This way. What are you doing? It's supposed to follow my mouse cursor. There, shit. That's annoying. Always that check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. That took it like extra time. Mind the gap. I gotta figure out how the mouse stuff works. Timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. <laughs> Stuck on something. Oh no, Paladin. I played this back in the day. I played this when it came out. I haven't played it since then, though. Oh, shit. Okay, that's where the other guy is. Wait. There's a bunch of layoffs at Gearbox? Man, as soon as they got divested? God, of course. Hey. Taking in the view. Oh, you do have to lean on. You have to, la you have to land on him. I've unlocked the security door. Come back to the control room for your evaluation. All right, we can do this better. Okay. You want to run it again? Yeah. If you improve your new. That fast forward is so cool. I've only ever seen that in Cyberpunk, really. Yeah, it usually takes a bit longer. They let people believe that things might be better. I mean, it, for all I know, they were planning layoffs anyway and might have little to do with this. Where the flip is the other one? You can see this one. There you are. No, 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 no. God damn it! I think it's I think it's meant to I think it does that on purpose. I'm starting to I think I'm starting to understand it, I think. It's weird because the, the, the left one moves exactly where you, you want it to and it stays there no matter what. So shut up. So I don't understand. Why does it do that? Oh, Gearbox Publishing did. They weren't included in the deal. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. Always check your surroundings for cameras. I can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Oh, it's it's glitched. Then exploit their blind spot. Sure is.
Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. You wanna run it again? Yeah. That. If you improve, your new score will override the previous one. Here we go. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Got the touch. Check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. To do that. No! Oh! God damn it! Oh, it's not an alarm, I guess, so maybe I'm lucky. Ooh. Anyone know where Jacob has been? Oh, he's been streaming. He's been streaming pretty regularly the past couple of days. What? Come on! How are you supposed to know if he's facing that direction or not? Outstanding. Okay. You want to run it again? Fuck it. No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Did I do much better than the other recruits? You're the first raw recruit we've gotten since Alpha Protocol started. Then it wasn't too bad, I guess. It felt a little easy, but... Of course, not enough of a challenge for you? No. Then I have an assignment for you. This one won't be locked. Oh, there we go. What? You mean like a covert training op? Covert guys op. Carrying orientation too far. Nothing of that alpha protocol is orientation, Agent Thornton, despite the semantics. The penalty for getting caught, however, won't be a poor score. It'll be detention. So, are you up for it or not? Well, I'm up for it. Let me see what you need. Remember watching your dad play this when it came out? That's awesome. Center. Why? What's the file name? Jacob. Not only will this be a much more practical use of your talents, but I think you'll be curious to see where in the world you're going to be sent. Sounds like fun, actually. We'll see. Westridge gets uh, angry with people that bend the rules. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, it shows me both of the objectives. All right. Are you waiting for clearance? Go ahead. Which one is which, though? The one in front of me is retrieve data. I want to go through these doors. Okay.
shit. That's awesome. Karate chop! I don't remember where the stairs are. Ah, okay. Here. Oh, I agree, Captain. Oops. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, Chaos Theory is fucking awesome. I've always meant to go back and, and play that again. Chaos Theory. Soundtrack, also incredible. Kind of sounds like this a little bit. rocks. Where's my espionage Mission Impossible game with Tom Cruise doing the mocap stunts? Well, I mean, there was that really weird Mission Impossible game for N64. It's kind of the one you got. It was like a pseudo hitman's kind of game. A lot of neat ideas in that one. I think it like ended up being delayed for two years or something. Had a level where you got to go down a big old laser hallway, which was pretty sick. What the fuck? Where did he come from? Is off limits. Use your PDA if you're turned around. If it was back this way. Yeah. Wait, no, that's weapons. Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation. All right, then. All right, then. Did you do as I asked? Got the data, no problem. I'll download it from your PDA. Were you seen? Not enough to reveal what I was doing. Now that you have this file, huh? Anything you can tell me about my real assignment? You go into the Middle East to recover stolen prototype missile technology. Your probability of success is in the lower 20th percentile. Wait, I'm going to the Middle East? I've downloaded intel onto your PDA. That should prove useful when you reach your destination. Well, thanks. I appreciate it, Parker. We're exchanging favors, Agent. We're even. And that's an important lesson in our line of work. So when am I shipping out? After you finish your orientation with Westridge, it's customary for him to outline in a slow and plotting way. His expectations for you. Then he'll send you to fetch. Like a good dog. I'm not sure I like that comparison. Yeah, well, none of us do, Agent. But such is the nature of the kennel you've been put in. Was there anything else? Uh. What do you actually do here? My primary role is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler during sensitive missions. Intelligence analyst, huh? Find any yet? Excuse me? Intelligence, I mean. Ah, humor. Fine. That joke killed the graduation. It's no joke. The smallest event, if analyzed Zing. correctly, could have great repercussions. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado, that kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So, what, you're like a political fortune teller? I thought economists had the market cornered. Yes, it's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. 
If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. You like working here? My responsibilities don't account for that, nor should they. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, <laughs> the protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. I understand. That must be a full-time task, and an important one. Agreed. Even Westridge would say I hold the most important post in the facility. Oi. So in short, yes. I clean up after others, and if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs... You locked. gotta tease him. And setting the C4? We don't use C4 for that purpose, Agent. But no trace of this place will remain. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route, or... What happens? <laughs> what do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the people? Expendable. Are you serious? You are serious. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. It's interesting that they walk you through a dialogue tree and kind of force you to pick the version that you want to say. It just, but it it rolls through like the script. You don't get to pick from a menu what question to ask next. That really does make the conversation roll and flow. There's no like pause while the player's reading four options or something like that. This game's supposed to be satire slash funny. A little bit. Uh, it's easier to spot, and it, and it has more confident form later in the game. That's my memory. That, like, it kind of, it, like, plays it a little straight with just a tiny dash of camp at the beginning. Because they know that they're in, like, an, uh, a Bond-born action political universe. And so they, they like, trade the tech, the jargon and shit. And they, they say the things out loud, I guess. It kind of reminds me of, uh, Mass Effect. Like, Mass Effect 1 has a kind of campy opening where it's like everyone knows that they're in the wind up to a grand space epic and that's fun and and it's like it's not as obvious as somebody being like oh now's the time when i say this that gets a little grown some but there's definitely like a a self-aware kind of spark about it and that's in this game for sure Ooh, bling long yes you guys must have spent a fortune on the tvs in this place you all done you tell me now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I can't let you train me if I don't put you through the paces too. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report on your weapon skill was impressive. In fact, I think you outperformed many other guards, and it's your first day. What can I say? Top of my class at the academy, if you read my charts. You did read them, didn't you? Oh, I did. It was hard Ooh. to read the pages detailing your overconfidence. Well, as long as you read the charts, that's all that matters. I'm a little surprised Mina was paying attention to my firing skills at all, actually. My butt jiggling all over the place. Any more full of yourself, not even this facility will be able to hold your ego. And here's a surprise, a positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual, but he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh, what was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise, assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. 
Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I get an opinion? Or is that a rhetorical question? All right, let me be more specific. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. God, this bobble Good. cam. Because listening is a large part of it. Born cam. You talk to people. Your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. Are you suggesting I have an attitude problem? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you. And your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a woman in this game that just loves it when you talk shit to her. It's like the only thing that she responds to. No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous. I don't think I ever did a maximum get laid this run of this game. Telling me that I should just act the way I want? I didn't realize this was an acting gig. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, yeah. maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. What, like stalling for time? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Well, I prefer action. But why would I be talking to them if I need to shoot them? Seems like a bullet might be the best opener. Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Even Chop. if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. Like if I wanted to seduce someone? I mean, not like I have trouble with that or anything. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Well, I read the recruiting pamphlet. Got me this far. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target or operation. or operation. Awesome. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. Makes sense to me. I'd rather get a firefight over with as quickly as possible. Amen to that. Our records are complete, so use them when you have downtime. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. How do I know when I have the go-ahead to start accessing files? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, 
You should have a target. It's Kojima's style of just yeah, telling you the game mechanics, doing your but through the voice of the characters the in the game. At that point. Let's start with a simple one. Al Samad. Doing. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. See the notification yeah. in the bottom left? As well as people, it doesn't carry the same benefit. Now press the back button to open your intel. In the field. Talking to people about you know where the you know where the there. back button is, don't you, Mike? Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good, because I'm sick of this room. Good. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Man, so much high-powered talking, political talking and scheming. Recognize him. That Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Jacob's Ladder! But how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. You know where he is. No, but that'll be part of your mission in the Middle East. Find the missiles, then find him, and take him out. Take him out. You don't want him taken alive. If he cooperates, sure, bring him in. On the off chance he tries to kill you, then put a bullet in his head. I'll put my years in charm school to use. All right, then, pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well, I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Oh, no worries, sweet pipes. I do love flashing back in time and kind of, uh, seeing what's changed. XP earned from evading enemies. Negative 15. Oh, I didn't complete an objective. Uh-oh. 100% run already flushed down the turlet. After awaking in a medical facility surrounded by armed guards, Agent Thornton was put through a rigorous screening process. Agent Thornton was not notified of the test. After a brief introduction to the facility, Thornton was instructed to attend orientation on the use of gadgets espionage. There it is. Does it tell you what you didn't do? Let's see. Bonus objectives? All right, flying all the way to Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'll be right back, quick break. See you real soon. From time to time, a beast begins to appear in one of the bays. When formed, it will kill Frogger. So either wait until it disappears, or pass it by. The shrinking bar at the bottom of the screen represents how much time Frogger has to make it into a bay. Therefore, the most direct route to the top of the screen is the best route. Wave 4 adds the hazard of a snake on the median strip. Watch in slow motion how when it tries to corner us, we simply slip back into the traffic. With the snake successfully eluded, we continue on our merry way. Years ago at Pete Taylor's dance studio, only Jack smoked L&M's. Now Kim Kelly's come over. When you've got today's best taste in smoking, people find out.
When you pour a bowl of Applejack cereal, sweet cinnamon races to you. Time to go. But there's a bad apple. <laughs> Just trying to get there first. Here I come, I am Cinnamon. Those are my Applejacks! <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Applejacks don't taste like apples. Knock, 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 knock! Whoa! Because the taste of sweet cinnamon is the winner. A cinnamony part of this complete breakfast. Hello, they're called Apple Jacks! You're going to step up or not? Venetia, Berlin, London. Totsuyo to stay alive at a Kyoji. Hachimoka. Spider Man. Far from home. Focusing uh, this this show on Marvel superheroes, which is a uh, product that's coming out on both the Sega Saturn and the uh, Sony PlayStation. A very very complex fighting game, and the tradition that Capcom has made uh, its own, which is a fabulous uh, graphic uh, fighting game, and we think it's going to be a great hit. Well, that sounds good. Does that combine the characteristics of the individual Marvel characters? It does. It's uh, it's the key superheroes uh, fighting against the evil uh, the evils of the world. Oh, that's fun. Those are real great. Hey y'all, this right here is the Bible Slide, featuring the Freedom Band. And this time, we're about to get holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Alright, we're about to have some spiritual milk. To the left. Take a step of faith. Pray once this time, on the devil let's stomp, on temptation let's stomp, Bible slide real smooth. Now praise and shout, Woo! to the right, take a step of faith, jump out the boat, right foot let's go, left foot let's go, Bible slide now y'all, now it's time to get holy, get right now, to the left, take it to the grave and see it resurrect. Come alive this time. Right fist, two pumps. Left fist, two pumps. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Backslide. No! Backslide. No! It's just a move. I'm a Bring it, babe, watch it turn it, leave it, stop for mad it. Bring it, babe, watch it turn it, leave it, stop for mad it. Bring it, babe, watch it turn it, leave it, stop for mad it. Bring it, babe, watch turn it, leave it, stop for mad it.
Feel it go, go, find, find you with code, jab, jab, da, 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 da. Away we go. The globe trotting spy adventure. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. What is this weird filter? It's like the 2000s blur filter. That, like white overblown look lots of interference lucky for me seeing your face at this size is bad enough maybe you'd better save your smart ass oh this cool tv oh junior mint thanks for the sub is your primary objective trouble is we don't know his location but we have three leads an arms dealer nasri is believed to have sold the missiles to shaheed and he's currently operating in saudi arabia if you can intercept him Maybe you can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nazri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield a Sega Saturn? in the past. If you can sneak in and plan a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Any backup, sir? Just Darcy on the comm. Any backup, sir? Funny, Mike. Darcy's enough. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. My own money? Are you kidding? We don't want you using the Alpha Protocol accounts with rival terrorists or weapons dealers. That has a habit of getting back to us. If you pick all sarcastic responses from the beginning, you get a special boss fight that changes the trajectory of the ending. I didn't know that. you to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door or access the missions from the main terminal. 
I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Alright, so is that it? <laughs> Westridge. Great. That's awesome. Sweet home. <laughs> this game rules. It is a it is a full and thorough fact. Where do I see how many points I have? Oh, I have 13. Okay. Sheesh. Let's see. It reduces downtime. All right. Upgraded awareness. Oh, yeah. Silent running is fun. Because you can just, like, sprint up to people and then take them down. And then eventually you get abilities where you're just invisible. Like, no matter what. They don't see you. They don't react to you. You can walk up directly in front of them and just chop them in the throat. And they hit the deck. Because this game is awesome. Actually, hell, yeah, I'll just buy that. Awesome. So sick. Uh. Ooh, sweet pipes. Thank you for the sub. Oh, that looks stupid. God, so tactical. Desert camo tactical. Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. Oh, nice. My super fast internet. It's an email from Mina. Mike, I'm guessing Westridge already gave you the lecture about not using agency funds on high profile assassination missions. Aside from what's in your safe house, you'll have to make use of whatever you can borrow, swipe, or steal. If you need supplies, try the clearing house. It's the back black market exchange. There's a seller there named Mongoose who should be able to provide you with the basics while you're in Saudi Arabia. I don't know why man Mouse Wheel like makes it change the email. I guess this is the only way to. S Ugh. No, I think it really is just clicking the down. Ugh. Anyway, and speaking of stealing, a contact of mine in the U.S. government just dug up an Al Samad slush fund buried in a Jordanian bank account. I've enclosed the login credential and password and an attachment. Just download the data and ex. And a self-extracting executable will transfer the funds your way. <laughs> Do it soon before the government amateurs finish filing the proper paperwork. Seize the account for themselves. Keep an eye out for any other funds you can abscond during your mission. We're not worried about journalists and investigators following money trails in circles around the globe as long as their search never takes them to Alpha Protocol. Sick. 10k. Nice. Welcome aboard. I've already set up your... E Wait, I've already set you up with an email address you can give to people you meet in the field. Not only is it against regulations to send out your agency contact info, it's a pretty surefire way of getting reassigned to Greenland, Weehawken, or some other ass end of the world. Imthornton at halbeck.com. Don't worry, I keep wanting to mouse wheel. The email won't sit on some corporate server. I made sure all main in and out gets redirected to an encrypted server that you can access from any computer that's running the agency's decryption key. Your login password is Able Danger, minus the quotes, of course. Change it when you first log in. Let me know if you have any questions. Reply. Ooh, I can draft my email. Let's keep it profesh for now. Let's keep it profesh. Darcy, Mission Sandworm. Westridge put me in charge of logistics for the run on the detention camp. Should be fun. Some things you should know. This mission comes thanks to a local contact of mine. Yeah, I've got a ton of contacts in the area. What can I say? My grasp of the Arabic language is rivaled only by my charm and modesty. But seriously, this guy's a cool cat. He's a double agent and has everyone in Al Samad convinced he's one of them, so he gets his pretty solid leads, though he doesn't work cheap. I've studied up on the base. It was built into sandstone cliffside in 1960 when Gamal Abul Nasser, second president of Egypt, was trying to start... An anti-Saudi uprising in Yemen. That's right. I'm a history buff. Anyway, it's nestled in the ridge in such a way that it's hard for sentries in the base to get a clear view across all the terrain. 
We'll drop you outside the base and you should be able to get in close with no problems. Local weather patterns suggest a sandstorm will soon hit. It's about as likely as sun in Los Angeles or rain in London. We're going to time your mission with a sandstorm, take advantage of the reduced enemy visibility and hearing the storm provides. I'll be your handler for the mission, but not your nanny. <laughs> I know I'd tackle this mission with stealth and a shit, ton of, pun, a shit ton of explosives when that fails, but I don't care how you get things done, I just care that you get things done. I'll make sure all my friendly contacts are offsite, so don't worry about killing friendlies. Aside from that, well, should be a simple in and out mission. Just follow my lead and we'll kick ass, take names, save the world, and be home in time for a trip to the titty bar. Good hunting, says Sean. Another email from Sean here. Since the agency spends all its money on secrecy and not enough on guns. If you need supplies, I have a local contact that should suffice. His name's Murad, and he's a shameless mercenary of an arms dealer, unafraid to peddle any weapon to whoever offers cash. And I mean that in the nicest way. A lot of locals would just as soon blow up anyone from a NATO country, but Murad shows that capitalism beats racism and xen xenophobia any day of the week. Have you visited the clearinghouse yet? Well, I've made sure you're patched into Murad's selective shortlist. When you log in, you'll see what he has for sale. Okay, let's do it. Oh, they have, like, star ratings? Oh, and stats! That's cool. Upgraded armor. Oh, these are mods. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can buy Intel. I always like that. Let's spend all my money on Intel. Screw it. Reduction in enemy strength. An American military or private military company will run a sortie not far from Nasri's location to draw out the any alert staff. Cool. Mission map for the arms dealer mission. Additional supplies added to the investigate weapons mission or investigate weapon stockpile mission area. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Reduction in enemy strength. Dossier information. Mission map for bug tower mission. Sniper rifle dead drop. I'm gonna buy like, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, I can't afford it. That's fine. So now I have, I should have dossiers. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. That's the name of the mission that you buy the, the like, the advantage for. Okay, or the intel for. I thought that was, like, saying what it would do. Yeah, got it. Okay. Or rather, I thought, yeah, yeah, I get it now. I think I get it. I get it now. I get it now. Damn, look at this percentage here. Gamer. Let's see here, Nasri. Omar Mohammed bin Nasri is a weapons trafficker based in the Middle East. His connections throughout Moscow, Eastern Europe, and has been responsible for selling off large Russian weapons stockpiles throughout the world. He has a number of armed guards at his disposal, and he runs a tight operation where laziness and joking around are punished with a bullet. And this attitude is mirrored in his guard's treatment of others who come to make deals with Nasri. Okay. He doesn't like goofing. He's not a goofer. What about Saeed? I thought I, thought I got the... I thought I got a, oh, there he is. Sheesh. 
Ali Shahid is, uh, Shahid is an oil seek with strong ties to political figures in the Middle East and the West. He's incredibly wealthy from both his oil interests and the political favors he's been granted in exchange for, his, for access to his oil. Shahid fr uh, frequently intercedes on behalf of his Western and European friends in Middle East affairs. Shahid is monitored by Interpol and numerous intelligence agencies and is widely known as the voice of Al Samad, responsible for, yeah, responsible for several anti American broadcasts over the past several years. Oh, thank you, Nabusan. Man, I thought I was doing a bad job. I always feel like I have to apologize for unintentionally slaughtering the names that I'm not very familiar with, but. Yeah, if, if I'm if I'm uh, botching anything or making a mockery of anything, let me know. Let me know so I can ban you from chat for making me look bad. We won't have that around here. God, this guy's so cool. Okay. Do you, do you pick, like, a side quest first? Yeah, I guess so. Orphan Master, thanks for the sub. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, uh... Seems to me it can be weird these days. But that's okay. I still enjoy it. And I... I, I don't want to... I don't want to fall into the trap of thinking that... That it's, like, a cause to tell people... To just nag people. Because I don't think that's... That's constructive in the end. So I'm trying to figure out how to connect a couple of wires, but I think I'm figuring it out. Where it's indicated he may be using an airfield east of Jizan. Infiltrate the airfield, download the flight logs, and get out without being spotted. You acquired two intel. For this, you purchased additional dossier intel on Al Samad, expanding your dossier on the terrorist organization. And I got a map. So let's do it. Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. Typical day on the job. Not jealous, are you? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. Speaking of which, anything new on Shahid or the other leads? Not much more at the moment. I know Parker and Darcy are trying to dig up as much as they can through contacts and surveillance, though. Anything come up you need my help with? Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic of you, Agent Thornton. But I appreciate the trust. Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was four dollars a gallon. And uh, he's feeling safe when he travels. Remember that? The twenty tens? Safe. Well Al Samad is mostly untrained. Fanny May and Freddie Mac. Guns. His personal bodyguards yeah, are well trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting edge tech. So you the subprime the loan lot. crisis or whatever? The bailouts. Bleh. As long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? We'll catch him and make him pay. Count on it. I hope so. I'm just worried he's going to take the missiles and go underground. If that happens, it might be years before he turns up again. He's not getting away. I'll hunt him down no matter where he hides. All right, Mike. But remember, the missiles are more dangerous than he is. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contract. That Josh Sawyer? The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Complicates things. As in... There a potential embarrassment to Halbeck? I think that's a big part of it. U.S. weapons used to Maybe? kill U.S. citizens? Maybe? tell what's going on there. Wouldn't look good on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. 
It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. It sounds like it helps get the job done. True enough. It allows us to move quickly when need be. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? It's a beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. I wonder if I Comrade Haggis. Oh, you did the load from last inrest? We might get new names, new identities. So shouldn't it be possible to just load checkpoint and then It seems like a big assignment for a new Or does it reset your checkpoint as soon as you do that? There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about shit. It is so scary. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because, Mike, you don't take orders. Or you don't take them well. You're your own man. Yeah. I hope so. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. Wow. And that's what I'm counting on. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. <sighs> but it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. I don't know, Comrade Haggis. It might be worth trying. I'm talking to you now. Because I do think That's it all I need. Thanks, me. It separates your in save from your checkpoint. Unless you load from in and then like run around a ton and do something that triggers a checkpoint. Is it me or is the writing really good on this? No, it's good. It's uh it it's got momentum and it doesn't belabor things that are that don't matter. Tell me about so much. There's cameras all over the place. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting. All right, still. I don't know. Uh, game writing wasn't super great at the time. And I remember this being one of the rare games that actually was, like, fun to listen to. And had, like, a... It had a playful spirit. What the fuck? What? Is it because the first guy saw me? Judging from the schematics, there's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel and the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. Might be able to find a way over it. It's so annoying that they're all, like, aggroed on me. I think you'd be surprised. Got him. I think the reason we don't get writing like this anymore is because developers know that gamers don't understand that this level of camp is completely intentional and not cringe or bad as they love to say. It would bomb in terms of sales and reviews. Yeah, and this game kind of did. Um, I remember at the time, people could not get over that it was broken, if that makes sense. I remember like everyone correctly pointed out that like kind of mechanically the game gets a little flimsy near the end. But no one, like, had the vocabulary to appreciate and adequately describe how awesome this game is. Especially in circa 2010. It... I, I, I was complaining about this uh, because of Helldivers. How, like, it's frustrating that Americans, for some reason, never satirize American culture. Even though it's so ripe for satire. But that's also, like, GTA, of course, is like... 
pinnacle American satire. I consider Rockstar a British company. I don't know how accurate that is with how GTA is developed anyway. Now, anyway, um, yeah, I forgot a little bit about Alpha Protocol, um, which is very much like a cheeky satire. I mean, it, it is the thing, but it's also kind of dumb to also make fun of the thing. And I love it for that. Uh, okay. Let's just get you over here. Oh, that's not... Oh, it moved. I think I get it now. I get it. I've, di I've discovered the touch. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, it's treating the mouse like a stick. Founded in Scotland, so I'd consider them a Scottish or British company. All right. You know what? Deal. What was that sound? Oh, hacked open the fence. All right. Got to hack for maximum experience gain. I think also the fact that like they they gamified the acquisition of of lore and intelligence in this game really hard, really rubbed me the right way. It's also just like a really cheeky video game thing to even have like a percentage completion on the lore screen. Oh, a zip line. Mike, I've got some IDs on some of the men in the camp. Looks like some of Shahid's a leader here. If you can take them out. Then I won't have to worry about running in some of the elite what the I guess, do they all just know where I am I guess they can look up maybe they can look up God damn it. Nice job. What? One less to worry about later. That was it, huh? All right. Whoa. Nero, Nero. Pick up some money. See? You see how much this game rules? I'm just sprinting around and karate chopping terrorists? Suspected terrorists. TV crashed so hard while I was playing Diablo 4, I thought it died. Oh, damn. It's weird when, when like, displays crash, right? Yeah, it's a thing that can happen. Oh yeah, I guess it's uh It's Diablo 4 on Game Pass Day. Congrats everybody. Did the flags mean I've done it? Done the side quests? Let me tell you the the Diablars are more active and and dominant than ever. What the fuck? I like how he kicks at the end no matter what. God, how do they know where I am? How do they know?
Oh, good. Coming for him. Oh. I did like Diablo 4. Oh, that was a pretty fun Diablo game. Oh. Uh oh. It might get me. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, well, now I'm here, I guess. Yeah, this game rules. This game's actually the best. All praise good old games. For making art. Making sure we have art for now and forever. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. The ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though. Okay, he doesn't know I'm here yet, right? They're not shooting at me already. Okay, yeah, they're like... I guess they're alerted since it's... They have a... a he's got an aggravated arrow. What the heck? He's just coming for me! He's just coming for me. He's coming for my ass. I swear they just know. Parasar Wily. All right, here we go. I'm going to get him this time. You like my clothes? Like my tactical camo? It's, a, it's so cool every time. Uh, uh, isn't that awesome? Do I get to rehack this every time too? Man, we are blessed. We are blessed. And that's that. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit though. Let's see here. What the? Jesus Christ. I tried Dune Spice Wars. I did not. Oh. Although I, I do want to play, uh, one of the old Westwood Dune games, like Emperor Battle for Dune or something like that. There's an old Dune game, RTS, that has FMV, and it's the sickest thing. The other Westwood Dune games have, like, really cool pixel art cutscenes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's... I don't think it's Dune 2000. But Dune 2000 is also pretty cool. <laughs> Ziggy's Cloud of Strife. Thank you for, thank you for the sub. What the? Come on. Whoa. Uh, see, so I found you because of old Funhouse videos. Have you on in the background while I game? Enjoy your insight and winningness. So thanks for what you do. Thank you very much. I am uh, I am grateful that this ridiculousness is uh, makes your day better. Makes your gaming sessions cozier. Oh hey Steph, I got a box. Yes, Soylent, Soylent. Tomorrow's Inside Games episode is going to be sponsored by Soylent. Uh, I'm just, I'm just goofing. I'm just goofing, guys. I'm just goofing right now. Just running around and goofing. I'm just being a silly goof. 
I actually think I'm going to wrap up the stream here pretty soon because, good lord, I think I have to restart this mission so that everyone's not shooting at me all the time. Yeah, I'm feeling a little low energy. Oh, people will find a way. People will game. That's what they'll do. I'll game for me. I'll chop this guy. Chop! Huh? Oh, the, yeah, angry people. I'm gonna run around here. Chop this guy. Ha ha ha! Got him. I'm in the control tower now. Oh yeah, you want you wanted to play alone in the dark? They may have flight records stored on them we can use to help track Shahid. Steph wants to play alone in the dark. Oh, okay. Steph wants to make fun of me while I play alone in the dark. Oh, he's got my glasses. See? Ooh! Where's the death people? Where's the sad? Steph wants to see a sad dead people or a dead emote. Oh, there he is. Oh, He's wearing a suit. Yeah. So sad. Oh man. Oh, oh my God. Look at how many. I love it. I just like that he, he's probably got like a little carnation, a little carnation in there just to be like, mm, so sad. Oh, that abused me. Oh, oh, so, wait, you can't. Is that like a dying in the sleep people? But <laughs> that's just a. No, he's just you, sleepy. You can't, you can't try to say that that one's like. No, it's fine. People. Hey! Yeah, he's back. People. What? Whoa, well, wait, when did that? What? Look at you. The one, me wearing the cool glasses yeah. on top of my other glasses. Your <laughs> wow. 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 Look at this. God, am I just not home that often? How do I not know that this is a, this is a thing? Well, usually when I have it on over there, it's like through an app. And that doesn't oh, render I a lot of these emotes. Yeah, stuff That's doesn't get bullshit. to see. She doesn't get the pro emote experience. I'm upset that I don't get to see. I'm sorry, Steph. If only there were a way. Actually, I guess maybe through a browser, I could do like a, hmm. I'll see what I can do. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you watching the stream today. <laughs> I'm getting grumpy now. Uh, I will, yeah, I'll be back streaming tomorrow. Actually, it's another sponsored stream, sponsored by Sandland. So I'm going to be playing the demo. But it's just a demo, so it's not going to take all day. I want to pick up Black Ops 2 again. Oh, I, well, I'm, I'm off tomorrow. I'll oh. Here. Easter's. Okay, cool. And then I just the All right. Be awesome. I mean, I have a sponsored stream to do, but yeah, maybe around that, depending. Well, I was going to go like after hour, but maybe. And then that way there'll be a ham in the fridge, and then I'm about making. Damn. All right. Lots of excitement Dying coming up. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Capcom. We wanted a perfect future, and fuck, we got it.
I wanted to be a killing machine, and they made me one. One of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface. Your mind truly is your greatest weapon. My brothers have gone dark, but nobody knows just how far. Holy shit. I don't think these people volunteered. I've got to chase the chaos as deep as it goes. The last recorded operation at this station was John Taylor's team. The people who did this are traitors. They're gonna continue to help the enemy. We need to fight back. But when I look at the hard truth, I may not want to come back. When people really want to bury secrets, they tend to bury bodies right along with them. You think Taylor's team killed our people? I don't know how much of the real Taylor is left. Please don't. You don't know what this will do. I can feel it taking over. Not even my mind is safe. You still in there, John? Do you hear me? You don't understand. I'm taking us home.